Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my Tiglet series. I'm Avatopia. This is going to be episode 277, I believe. I'm taking a look today, or oh, more of a continuation, I guess, of Total War Warmer 3, Throne of the K DLC, specifically, uh, if I say the name right, Malachi. What's the Dwarfing race? And it is time we'll go into Elspra. Basically him, it is time to go in her. If not, this will be his episode, and then we'll do her next time. As uh, the last time we did this, you know, I wanted to do all three. Kind of had a little quick, look, quick look at him, didn't get it finished. Managed to do him and him. So he's the focus today. I'm also recording this on the 21st of May 2024. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I'm aiming to get this one out for. I think these go out Saturdays, don't they? This Saturday coming up. And then if I can get it done in time, if this does end up being two episodes, like for one for him, one for her, the following the following week, and then long as nothing jumps out on my take a look at what's big or anything, or um, the what was it called, Age of Wonders 4, the last DLC pops up or something, we should then probably get two of these Spellforce Conquest uh, parts, I can't remember if it's part 8 and 9 coming up, or 10, 11, whatever. And then I think I've got a small thing in between it of a game. I, I think I've looked on, I did last year for a thing. And then I think I've, I've set for another spell force to go up. And then another game I worked on last year. And when I worked on it, don't take a look at it. It's just got my push back. And then it's a bunch of spell forces. I'm hoping by then I can start doing some more. Take a look at some of the other games I want to re-look at. Or something new, depending. But uh, we'll, we'll see. My goal is at least do him today. And next week knock her out if possible. And if it isn't this week I'm aiming for, and I've got it mistaken, then this week's, or I guess it be last week at this point, once Age of Wonders didn't come out, uh, would have been the last Galsif uh, part. Uh, I'm going to take a look at Okay. So as you see, we did this last time, and they've already patched it a few times already, an old version already. <laughs> and when did we record this one? Uh, on the 5th, fifth, fifth, yeah, the 1st, so like two weeks ago. It's already been patched. Okay, so go to campaigns. New. Uh, so we have the realm of chaos and the immortals. will focus mainly on the realm, but then jump in to see what's different in the mortals near the end. I think that's the best way of doing it. So the guy is he dwarf or chaos dwarf? I think he's dwarf, isn't he? That's him, isn't it? Malcolm Malcolm. And he's gonna come with a dual axe. Pickaxe infantry, pickaxe infantry, missile infantry, line war machine, and siege artillery. I'm also recording this, by the way, at 2:53 a.m. Hoping Aurora stays bed and sleep. <laughs> Last night she did not. I went to appointment to go, so oh god, it's been a mad day. I'm so tired today. Okay, uh, and that's the starting location. Okay. Uh, oh, that's the law. So doors we already know. Once a project, a project gifted engineer or the renowned engineers guild, Malkan Makasun now serves as a slayer, bearing the shame of the turbulent and tragic past. As the creator of the ironclad unsinkable and the airship indestructible, which both malfunctioned with devastating results, he carries the weight of the numerous, numerous dwarfs' deaths on his shoulders, resulting in his ejection from the engineer guild. In the wake of his tragedies, Malkus took the Slayer Oath through his days of tinkering and invention are not yet behind him. He continues his craft, building wonders such as the spirit of the Grunad and the famous goblin Heaver, in the hopes that one day his shame will expunge the even triumph of glorious death. Oh, and yeah, I still haven't been able to catch up with reading the stuff I was on him uh, and her next. I finished the other guys off, but not her, as by the way. You know, it gives me a lot of information beforehand, so we're going in this kind of blind. So let's go. I apologize, my voice sounded a bit crackly. I said a few days ago we got sore, and it's not really covered since. At least I feel it sounds crackly. I don't know if you do on the mic. Hopefully you don't, but... I kind of feel it does right now. So again, apologise beforehand. Again, if you want to see, uh, what was his name? Taramuka and the Elbus, part of the other DLC, uh, a few weeks ago, uh, that one went up on my Take a Look at series. And I think specifically that was episode 276, the kind of out of order. <laughs> Uh, 
because the Galsiv ones were done a, a while before that. They, uh, that was done. Okay. Because I've not really played the dwarves that often in this game. I remember one of our my early games, Warhammer One. I think Supernova Tiffy after we did Nuska. It might even be Warhammer Two. She tried the dwarves. And I was being like humans or something. I got no, no. I got a feeling that we both tried to be two dwarves next to each other, like our second game. I think we did try the dwarves. So I think it was our second game actually, because I was Britannia, she was Nuska. After we did that, uh, because we found out they were the opposites, and she was often sitting next to my characters, and we didn't know for most of the game that she. She was draining my money and she get turned around like, my money's great now. And then a few turns later, after she moved up my area, but we didn't realise that was a problem, my money's low yet. I don't understand this. And I goes, well, be in your stats. Read how you get money. And it took us multiple turns before we realised she was draining my money. <laughs> so we, our second game, we didn't think we get as far, was basically we'll try to be two dwarves to close to each other. I don't remember how far we got with that. I think stuff came up and we just didn't finish that game. Where the other no scale one we got to put where we basically couldn't finish because we were getting overwhelmed too much. That was my early days, like Warhammer 1. From the earliest age of the Engineers Guild, the Darwi have forged machines of war. I know it's like grudges and stuff. Of Gromril and gold. Mm. Trusted plans handed down through generations. Generations. Yet there are those who defy tradition. Cast out from the guild for his outlandish ideas, mm. Malachi McKyson Malachi. now seeks to regain his honor. His slayer oath to be fulfilled through iron, grit, and glory. Yeah, I believe he makes inventions to do Slayer Oath to play the game. I think that's... Anyway, we'll find out it's correct. Remember, I think that was what I read. I mean, like I said, I didn't have to finish this enough. I started it. Danger lurks beyond the bounds of Kislev, where chaos lingers in a perilous landscape, ripe with adventure. Yet danger rears its head even closer still. As the savage Norskans descend on Cracker Drac, intent on murder and massacre, and beyond their violent horde, Valkyria and her warriors of chaos maraud onwards, soaking the land in blood. With such ruinous fiends closing in, Malachi McKyson expects the spirit of Grangni to make quick work of the Northmen. I Gromrill and Steel, it's their doom or mine! Okay. And if you haven't watched the other episode or this DLC, I mentioned in that I'm doing this in the order that I personally think is going to be the best. As in worst first, so I thought Tamakart would be the worst. I only did the uh, I was counting the main bought ones. The free guy I wasn't counting because obviously he was part of the same race as him. So this is the second episode. So I think the dwarf's going to be the second best, and I'm going to Elspeth's going to be the best. Again, I might be wrong because when I did the last DLC, I ended up swapping to the one I thought was the best. In my opinion, was the best, but then I thought the dragon would be second and the witch would be last and I end up swapping around for how much fun I had with them so we're going to see what's going to happen with this too and also if you're watching my channel right now I talked about possibly bringing this back on my main slot as, the, as this goes out it should have spell force go, uh, gods full god on right now I'm doing that five days a week right now and I'm going to wait until these two episodes have been out minimum and then I'm going to decide if I'm going to bring this back or I'm going to hold off if Sins comes out, or maybe I'll do all of them at the same time, and you know, you know, three of them over five episodes, and they share that slot for a little bit. But there's also a while hold off until I've done this episode, and possibly the 278 if we go into that with Esplan. Uh, because I uh, right now I want to do the the last DLCs, uh, Teach Cat Guy, 
But if one of these, I think, oh my god, he's amazing. Like this dwarf, and he blows me away, for example. I'm like, you know what, do a campaign on him instead. And I want to get through these first, and I want to start doing my teach guy. And then you start a few weeks, and then finish this, and then it's like, oh my god, I love this dwarf, I shouldn't be doing him instead right now. So that's the reason why I'm holding off. And, at the, the, and obviously, these are two or three hours long, so you're getting plenty of content from these anyway. So, anyway, that just helps re explain stuff quick. I'll read this now. Malachi, whatever his name was, it was Malachus or something, is both Slayer and Engineer, who embarks upon deadly ventures using the might of the legendary spirit of Wunda, pushing the engineering invasions to new heights as he seeks his desired doom. Uh, progression through Malachi's adventure missions, upgrades specific war machines, and leads to unique legendary battles against formal enemies, while also potentially getting the benefit of Dwarf's Age of Reckoning. Completing the legendary battle of Malachi's adventure will earn the Master's Resolution uh, campaign victory. And also, very quickly, a disclaimer in the sense again, if you didn't watch the other episode, we're not aiming to do this campaign, a complete campaign. The goal of this is to take a look at it try to at least taste each, all of his mechanics if that takes three turns if that takes 20 turns roughly two to three hours only and then if i do decide i love this dwarf and we're going to go back and make a full campaign of him i will start this campaign from start and do the turns and decisions the best i can with this i may take some risks that i wouldn't do if i was trying to play this properly uh, just because i'm trying to show you something and trying to rush to something so if, you, if I'm doing some booze and you're like, oh my god, that's so stupid. It's probably because I'm trying to get to, to see a, a talent or something or a mechanic of his that if I do it properly, I wouldn't see him to, say, turn 15 and we get to see him turn 6 or something. Even though it would screw the campaign up. Okay. Summon the Spirit of Gunda the fight in battle. The Spirit of Gunda is a wonder yeah. to behold, built by the sweat of your own brow. It's time the front bar is called into action. Launch headlong into the heart battle. The spirit of Gundar may be called upon a battle by Malcolm's army by a special ability. We improve by upgrading airship abilities. Building, sorry. Learn more about the okay. So I guess the Gundar's his airship. Okay. Okay, so what do I start with? I'll just let my little army. Malakari Makaisen! Flex, legendary hero. Oh, he still has two legendary heroes. They were free editions, weren't they? At one point, I, I believe you could. Uh, they got their own book series and stuff. I believe they could uh, join you at certain points. So you, you know, like level twenty, you got a chance to get their quest to join you or something. He starts with them. That's cool. Okay, so we have. Is it one location we start with? Looks like I might have two locations. Yeah, there's like two. I'll we'll take a look at our buildings. Is there anything unique on our buildings? You know, like the, the um, tough one things, they like flip around every few, few turns. He's already gone for that. Uh, okay, this is a landmark thing. But obviously, quite often of that. I don't see anything that stands out as being unique or special about their buildings. Okay, so we got here, we got uh, fingers, the free, income, income, health gold generated per turn. Oh, so that's probably going to be important. Is this just. Okay, let's go, but get the old thing. That's probably going to be more important right now. So I'm going to build this. My two tips a bit better. Long in the tooth, so to speak. No, oh, they just stayed there a long time. Okay. So if I want this gold stuff, what I think is probably really important, then I should go for this as well. Ooh, wait a minute. Prevents construction of the trinket, trinket market. Where's the trinket market? Oh. Uh, okay. Then, because it's my main thing, I'll do that for the trinket market and do that for that. So I'm getting the, the gold. And later on, we can focus on these or something. Next one. Okay, nice. Okay, what do we have up here now? So we have our treasuries, that's normal. 2000, not bad. Oath gold. I think that's why I was going for this to start that ticking over because it's going to be important. 
It was the use of the forge when it is spent with other resources, so it's crafted. Create magic items of gold is primarily obtained from certain buildings. Recycling magic items in the forge and missions, its rate of gain can be increased by skills. Okay. Here's your reckoning. Okay, what's this? Okay, it's all the same thing. Complete the drug. Oh, is that the. Um, his wind condition. Turns into the next age reckon in 15. Oh, okay. I guess in 15 turns. So every 15 turns it does something. Uh, control minus 2 effects gain at current age ends. So in 15 turns I'm going to lose 2% control, 15% growth, and upkeep a thousand, oh, sorry, 100% for grudge settler units. Wow. So if they cost me 100 a turn, I guess they're going to cost me 200 a turn. That's bad, so how do you make that go up? Now, could you do any striking of grudges from the book? Is a grudge in itself? Not contributing, sorry. You bear the dwarf, uh, the Dwari referring to you as the elf with no beard, since you're not acting like a dwarf. Wow, that's mean. Tell us of grudges. So I have to be doing the grudge book to get this over, and I guess if I get it up higher in 15 turns, I won't get these penalties? Is that my understanding of this? Will become available. Oh, turn five. So I've got to wait for his adventures to turn five. That's, so Min will go to turn five, and there's a video. Okay, what else do we have? We have objectives. Complete two legendary battles in Magnus Adventure. Current totals not two. Complete the following legendary battle. Okay. Scout scheme. Oh, you can go further with all that. Okay. I don't think anything special with this stuff, does it? So I'll leave that for now. Okay. These guilds and clans. Are they just regular stuff? Oh, okay. So it looks like for these guilds, it's regular, except for these used to grudge stuff. That's what. So there's the first thing for the grudges. Or the elf guild is called. Clans look similar. Okay. And theirs looks bigger. So what, what, holy fudge, what the hell? The Roland Dwarf song contains many verses, constant rhyme used to keep in step, uh, step and up to pace. Oh, by the way, very quickly, I, I, like I said, I, unless I'm wrong, I believe this episode's going up this Friday or Saturday, I think it's Saturday. If it's not, it'll be the following week, but I think it's this Saturday. So if you're watching this and you wrote on my um, channel any comments and stuff, I've noticed them on there, I just haven't got to reply to them yet. This week has just been so fudging busy and especially with Star Citizen Vistas and everything and real life stuff. So I'm hoping to get through this week, possibly next week, and then I'm going to look at them and hopefully start replying to them. I'm also very close to some of the things running out too, like Bar, I think it's only got a week or two left on it. I think Kenshi only has this week, for example. So if you want any tips for Bar, if I have to look at that and I'll crap, I need to do it for this week or next week, I'll probably get to that tip or comment quicker than the other stuff. Because I tend to do like eight or ten of them, and then any tips in that time period, and then uh, get them all together and then implement them, or try them at least when I do my next set of videos for it. So if there's any tips for that, if I reply to them this week because I have to get that up, and I'm not ignoring any other uh, comments or anything on the rest of my channel, it's just I just haven't got time to get to them right now. Hopefully next week or things crossed the following week, I'll get to them for you when everything calms down a little bit more on the channel. And real life situations. <laughs> anyway, where were we? Speed 10% for infantry units to fallen units to receive bonus. Okay, so all of them get the 10% speed, that's good. So, what about you? Where are the girls? Development relation. Oh, okay, that does the diplomacy. Poison. I think the speed's going to be more beneficial because, again, diplomacy's not really going to come into this too much, is it? Because it's not a main campaign. Maybe if this was the main campaign I was going to play all the way through, that might be worth it. But I think for what we need to do, the speed's going to be better. The guild may not like it, but I do. Okay, the way he said that, we don't like cancel each other out, do we? By not going for the guild stuff. You know, these aren't like uh, fighting each other, are they? Don't, don't say it does. I guess you can get on their good side if you do diplomacy quicker, isn't it? Uh, defensive casualties. Growth. Ranks. Okay. 
the forge will be accessible when you gain at uh, 200. Okay, so, you know, building that to start getting 10 a turn. That's going to get that there a lot faster, so that's good. The Great Book of Grudges. Oh, whoa, here we go. Um, these are the legendary ones. He said you have to do two of to win it, wasn't it? Oh, no, it's Lord, sorry. Oh, so legendary gr grudges here. And then as a minimum, then was it the big grudge at the end, I guess. Playing the dwarf. Playing as the dwarf, the great book of grudges panel allows you to browse your most important grudge objectives and unique rewards of the grudge setting. Uh, the book has three tabs containing legendary grudge objectives, legendary lords confederated from setting... Settling grudges and details of special grudge settle, settlers. Oh my god, my words. Special grudge settlers, mercenaries, rewarded by the Age of Reckoning. Okay. <laughs> Legendary grudges tab displays objectives important and beneficial to all dwar dwarfs. Their completion can be aided by any dwarf faction and lead to powerful bonuses such as restoring the underway network and fast travel between certain settlements. Times of stretch support and beneficial to all dwarves. Okay, so all dwarves. So if, if I learn this, all the other dwarf factions will gain the underway network or fast travel. Or if they do it, I gain it too. Okay. Faction. Whew. Great book of judges. There is multiple legendary uh, grudges. I was going to say dudges then. Available. These buttons can be used to browse. Right now, three pages. But I guess a, a judge. A ju oh my god, a judge. A grudge. Grudge per page. Okay, great book, book of grudges, not judges. The Legendary Lords tab allows you to confederate. Well, that's basically when you join together. Renowned Dwarf Lords, once you have settled a num number more grudges than them. Target amount is specific in two tips of each Lord. Okay, so I'm not sure it says it for him, but hypothetically, once I do three um, grudges and he needed three, I can make him join me. I think that's the understanding of it. If three was his number. The uh, Grudge Settlers, Settlers tab displays details of unique units that are added to your list of missionaries as each age of reckoning is completed, accept Elgar and becomes recruitable via the army. Okay, why accept him? <laughs> Who's that guy? Why is he so good? Uh, left clicking any card will display their stats and specializations. Okay, so let's have a look at this then. So, the Fallen Ones, the Urgan Chaos, destroy the Fallen Factions. Stoned Away Networks, Akazan, Gaius, Dwarf, Ancestor Relic. Uh, are they all just destroying factions? Oh, Dwarf Factions control the following, so they need to own something. Okay, that's a bit easier. Did it just happen, or do I need to, like, activate? Activate, for example. Or just, I just pass this, I get it. Oh, this one. Sure, dwarf factions control the following provinces. Okay. So since I already own two of them, these I'm assuming are nearby. So, okay. I have a couple of these activates. So I can like, take this. Can I activate some more to destroy the following factions? Clan modular. Factions control the following settlement. Help it. Mountain, cell grudges. Oh, we have five then. I guess more might be added as we go. Shame of Silver. Okay, I, I'm assuming this, these four are nearby. So we'll do that. Legendary Lords. So how did they say this worked? Settlement, sell grudges. Okay, I didn't have any, so couldn't I just... So here's a settlement. So one, two, three, four. So only five guys, okay. Now he's just thingy. So, so how, how do I do this? Because to me that's zero, so shouldn't I be able to grab him? Because it's zero and it's cost me zero. Plain current settled grudges. Did you need to go? Oh, there it is. The tooltip. I understand what that is then. And seven five higher set of grudges to total each time you convert it against other dwarf factions. So basically, if it's each time, then unless I'm mistaken, that will be I guess say I get eighty thousand, eight thousand, I can buy him. 
and then he's the same. I've only got f uh, 500 left, so I need to get another 7,000 to get him. I think that's right. It's not just going to go up, is it? So it's not like, oh, I have 8,000, I'll buy him, and then I guess shoot goes back down. And I'm assuming their price will go up. And, you know, like if I buy him for 75, these would jump up in price anyway. Really way to tell how good these guys are. Support specialist, remote match armor. Grudge bearer. Iron brow. Okay. Are these the lords of the other factions? Because again, I'm not, I don't know the dwarf stuff that much. White Dwarf, I think he was a freeload. So yeah, I think these are dwarfs or heroes from other factions in the game. So I guess when you do this, him and L set must become ours, do this as well. So you'll just get him. Um, it's reckoning, accept, I don't know what that means. Adds to a special merchandise to whatever L get is. Flame, flame. So, would I be able to, like. Oh, here we go. Do I have to buy these or something? Is there a buy button on this? Reach the tier at the end, age of reckoning, to add this unit to your grudge cell. Reach t oh, I guess it's to do with the. Oh, I guess it. I think I understand. I guess the Age of Reckoning uh, for the dwarfs is like their their months or their seasons or something or years, or whatever. But like, so for example, that's like January. So after January, so the first fifteen, we'll get him and him, and then we'll do you know maybe a few months after, and it'll be like July, and then we'll do him and him. Some of these seem to double up. I was thinking they're all going to be individuals, like get him first and get him. Or is it a point where I have to pick one of these? And then the next month I pick one of these. And the next month I pick one of these. Then I pick one of these. Then do I lose the option of the others? Or do I have to wait to go all the way around again to get the other one? Is that how it works? This unit. Or do you get them both at the same time? Oh, and, uh, oh yeah, there it is. I'll bring that back up quick. Here. So we're on this tier. What is not down? Is that the elg the elga one? One, two, three. Yeah, that must be elga. Yeah, elga. So you don't get anyone for elga, but once I get to this tier. Oh, okay, cool. It tells you the stuff. I didn't notice that before, but we'll look at it in a second properly. So it looks like when we get to this tier, I don't know if I get both of these or I have to pick one. Does it tell you by any chance? And when I get this tier, it'll be these ones, for example, and upwards. So this one right now, if I get to the 15th age, I've got minus 2, minus 15, and thingy. But if I get to 15 and on this, I'll have minus 50 grudge. Uh, oh, that's a change. No, 100%, okay. So it halves that, but I get a uh, slate add. Oh, there we go. Grudge settler qualos, that's there. And, uh, and slayers. Ah, yeah, so we get both. Got you. Added to available grudge settlements. So here's a question. When I get this up, can it go down again? Meaning, can I get this? And I have these for the rest of the game? Or can I lose this and lose the ability to have these? If we don't find out in this episode, please put the comments. Oh, cool. So, so if you get all the way to the top, you get control plus five, growth 50, upkeep. So it does get beneficial for you. Spawn a temporary army of grudge settles. Nice. Okay, I tag that thingy. Or did I untag it? Is that pinned? Summon spirit. Ah, okay. Now it's pinned. So, world edge. Uh, so world edge. Can I click on them to take me to it? I 
guess it's over here somewhere. Okay. I think we worked out roughly what we're doing with them now. Why a big army to start with, though, isn't it? Greatest inventor. Oh, how do you meet people? Can you do it where you are? Oh, that's a good settlers. You must be large. Yeah, only three in the army. Okay. If we get them. Nouns. These ones are so these are getting one turn if you want to fight this turn. Minus, minus, North Warriors. I guess we should be able to win. Yeah, you bloody well. Why do I do it? I saw a thing up there then. I didn't. Well, before I attacked. I wonder what they were. They've gone now. Remember, we have to fight. Quick save. Do they have anything I can drag? No. Decisive. We'll have a look at the units, don't we? So, hmm, oh god, so now that literally the, the time period we're in. <laughs> so yeah, I never heard of it. <laughs> Doom stickers. Fast for a dwarf. Nice. <laughs> I like that. Fast for a dwarf. I don't know it's a slow for the other races, but because he's a dwarf, he's actually fast for a dwarf. Like, uh, taking uh, like five tortoises. Well, that tortoise has won the race, so he's fast for a tortoise. Okay, people. So the goal is this, isn't it? Comes like a time. Oh, here he is, the, the main lord. Remember, this is a pair of DLC to get him. Damn, I think we're free DLC. From Warhammer 2. I don't think I've ever actually seen him in the battlefield before, so. so quickly, he has the magical attack. Missile damage. Okay. So he gives the people magical attacks. He's a flaming attacks, melee attack bonus. That's Fingy's voice. His name's gone blank. Super famous. Uh, if you're doing a lot of them type of voices. I think he's from my country. I think he's from Britain. Damper reminds magic attacks. Oh, cool. Doom Seekers. Whoa, whoa! I like that one. Swing! Oh, oh. They've chained the ink gun. I thought someone just swung them. They all do. Holy fuck, that's dangerous. Ah, they look in the wrong garage. Miners. Missile. Uh, the one thing I never really liked in uh, Total War games is guns. But it seems when the AI uses them, I don't know if it's going to be different Warhammer, I'm really, like an empire, that they'll be like, Fire and all my hosts have just dropped dead. Practically have all of them. Oh, then the ones that left and run scared. But what I'm doing is like doo -doo -doo, fire, miss. And then they're like doo, reloaded, 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 reloaded. And then they're getting slaughtered by the horses at a point. What the Go up. What's this to? Oh oh there we go. Fire war machines. I'm a flaming attack. Oh, we've sieged a bit. Okay, nice, I've sieged. Okay, how big is your siege? That looks like... Wow, they're already in it. <laughs> okay, so... You are a miss oh, missile specialist. Are you... Okay, you're melee. You two are going to be together. Your axe. So, so that's going to be with you. Actually, your pickaxe, your big three, your missile on the tree, or 
I guess you're like my horses, so five. Mm, sorry at the back. Okay. So I got jewel. Fuck you get forward. I guess in a way I kinda of want to go to us, because do they have any artillery before I start moving them close? They're fast units, but they have artillery. They don't do that. And it seems the wolves kind of want to wait a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna. Could we? Is that you? And guard units. Let them come to us. So when you guys are so you can basically head them off. Thunderous. I don't think the best for you because I don't want to come around and go for the trees. I guess they come for the trees. It'd be better if you were here because they could be where you're gonna shoot more. If they come for the trees, you guys can help. Out or something. For the All dead, I'll get Hi, baby. Oh, not bad. Missed completely, but. It would have been better when it were. Okay. Cannon! Not even better when it actually were. Yeah, the rocks are kind of. Should probably have kept them when they were. Wasting time at least. That's the way you're coming. I think you'd be flaming them in the back by now. Oh, the thingy versions. Slayer specifically. That's you guys, right? Yeah, you need to fight them because I think you're supposed to be like monster hunters, aren't you? You two want to help? I'm only getting them back in a minute. You're sleeping, can you? Oh, wait a minute. This will help. I don't know when I'm going to aim like that, but. Oh, here we go. I heard you in the grass first. <laughs> How does this work? Range damage, explosive, oh, explosive, fudge. It's a bit close to me. Speed. Turn speed is less. 
think that's fine. That's the turn speed. Too fast. Okay, that's how I'll do it. Look at these quirk. It's cool. Little dwarfs on it. I don't know how long it stays. Or is it to kill it? I it's going down pretty fast. All oh, my units, okay. Uh, no, which units are doing? Oh, guys, we're hit from behind. Get in the back, get in the back now. Oh, he's winded down. Oh, okay. I thought that would be sort of aim is it's winded down. Oh, nice. Woo! Stay out. Go. Got nothing can stop us. Move now. So I guess it's gonna shoot where that is. It's all in the air again, and all. Go over these, go over these. There we go, that's how it works. That's how you use it. Got you. Pretty cool, like run them over. If I'm not mistaken, though, aren't the dwarfs? Oh god, that's nasty. Aren't the dwarfs the most advanced race in the game because of technology-wise? Obviously, we're just using magic and monsters. Also, like steampunk stuff, but I think it's the most advanced technology in Warhammer. Um, fantasy, isn't it? Obviously, when you have Warhammer 40k, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Very close. Oh, not this glass has. Mm. My body's getting chopped up by bloody helicopter blades. <laughs> You're definitely not going to be bad, for sure. You just lost your head. Don't lose your head. If I just stay down, pretend to be dead at this point. I'll get back up. Lost his head. Oh, God, you lost your torso. 
He's like, I survive. Come on, Jimmy. We've got this. We can get away. You can do this, Jimmy. I know, Paul. We've got it. Jimmy, watch it. Watch. Oh. Jimmy! Ah. No, you killed Jimmy. I will wait. I said, no, no, I'm leaving. I'm the only survivor. My name's Paul. Ow, watch it. I will survive. Oh my god, ow. He's blood on my head. I'm tough, I can do this. I'm gonna get away. Oh, oh god. I'm still going. Ha <laughs> ha. Kill the chaos invaders. Oh god, oh. This guy's a tough little nut, isn't he? I made it to the forest, you want me to get in there? Ha <laughs> ha. Why keep me away from the forest? Back off. Oh! There's a well, I'm in the forest, so it doesn't matter. Oh god! I'm out of the forest, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm in the forest! Yes! I'm. No, oh god! Oh god, this guy's tough. Oh! I'm bloody, but I will survive. I will survive. Oh god, I'm on down again. But I'm okay. It's a little bloody. I'm still good, I'm still good, I'm still alive. Oh, fudge. Bloody hell. Just let me alone. Oh, oh, oh. I'm still standing. Three copters in my face, I'm still standing. That's not going to make it a while. Oh, isn't really? he? Did he die? I don't know if his head's got crushed at that because they're on top of him. So what? who's this we're doing? Malakai. Oh no, I should put Malakai. I win, not just Malakai. <laughs> can I go over the top of it? Yeah, I guess I can. Win, win. Nah. <laughs> that works. Okay, they've got neat units. This. I do feel that the big part of their big tactic is to wait on that thing now. I did mess up with the where I pull my foot. Oh, that'd be good. They'll have to go round. I can just siege, siege, so to speak. You know, catapult, and like I kind of stopped myself firing because I couldn't see them. <laughs> so I actually helped them. Inadvertently. Well, as you do. <laughs> there was a tactical error. Hmm. Still got more than us. Oh, but then again, when you look at how I'm deployed. Yeah, that was as. Yeah, that's acceptable. <laughs> I wonder if we actually wiped we're gonna hit him again. So it's like I actually wiped anyone, technically. I was close with you. Very close. Come in, you. Take the last little bit. Come in. Take it, take it. Oh, there you go. Make my day. There we go. Okay, we'll do the 038 and we want to push out as quick as possible to see the, the features, the point of this video. Arm um, replenishment. Income from all buildings. For two turns, wow. I personally think at this stage, if this was a proper campaign, I might be leading to this. You know, to get the money up, to keep pushing on. To replenish this is not too bad. But I think we're going to go with that. Well, actually, no. 500 money. How much did you get? Ah, okay. Yeah, actually, that does make sense. Because the income is 10% from the buildings, but tech only for two turns. I don't really have making that much, so... I don't think them what building ones even built yet, are they? So what's 10% from zero? Bloody nothing. And once it is done... I think one makes a hundred or two hundred, and another makes a hundred something. Again, this is only going to be twenty, thirty, isn't it? Twice, like sixty gold over two turns. I get five hundred right here. So yeah, we'll look at this. Later on in the game, though, when we got like you know the position like two, three thousand each, <laughs> so it'd be worth that one. Come for cousin Sidian, nice. More crew. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get hundred straight away. How much did we get a minute ago? I, 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 I was focusing on the 500, not how much Ulf we got. 
Ah, okay. So 38 from that plus is about 100. That's gone up a little bit. Nice. And also, I did wipe them out. This is the airship crew's current population. Supplus, which can be used to upgrade the airship. Oh, okay. A little bit of luck and a whole lot of so in two turns, I can upgrade the airship. I guess it will be up here, because I don't see the button for it over here. But I think the forge is something different. Malachi McKyson. So here's the dude. He's the dude. There's a quest for his weapons. Uh, unit experience for Lord's army. Okay, it's not for him. But then that helped the heroes go, won't it? Or does that only class the army members, not the heroes? I guess campaign range for now. No, let's do that, I'll do that. Passive death blow. Oh, let me go tell me, okay. Men the warrior that when they strike, sure. Oh, they also didn't have that. Yeah, uh, we'll get the XP up first. Oh, did have a guy? Oh, look, these two don't have drunk quests. I think their quest is to joy normally. But I like the fact they start with this guy, that's pretty cool. I wonder if that means that when they're in the main game, if, say, with multiplayer, obviously, um, I'm assuming technically the AI too, that the AI and the multiplayer people can't get hold of these. Or do they only stay limited time? And there were some means they only save like 20 turns and left wasn't there. Unless I remember wrong, I don't think it's them, but it could have been them. Stuff. Okay. Control, corporate, corruption, okay. Oh, building 10% income from up now. That's probably what I should be doing. Since I'm building one of each, so to speak. The trade resources. Uh, yeah, let go with that. Boom. Slayer. So I'm assuming it's not taking me to all the locations, it's just taking me to this. What's where the main part is, so. so Grimmore Mountain. I think these are the full provinces, aren't they? Like, this is Gunhood Mountain, yeah. Not these, are just the full province. So this is Gundar. Uh, I don't see Gundar on there. So is it that thing just over there then? Oh, okay, this joke here. Because oh, Douglins Black Hog. I ain't seen any of them. Uh that's like the edge mountains. Wood Edge Mountain. Okay, it must be pointing to the closest one to us. Must on it. Wow, that's quite a bit to get that grudge done. I thought it would be further than that. Any of these? Should I be going for instead? Paris. Okay, so you can click and take you to it. Nice. They're down here. Okay, they're quite close to the reception. You go around a damn cliff to get to them. Huh. That's quite a close one ish. Call the miners. Uh, summon units degrade over time. Okay. 
I said I can do that to find them. Okay, nice. Nice, yeah, that one's actually going to take quite a while. But it's like a big grudge, isn't it? This one looks more doable. What are these early ones? Okay, so it's like, once you go in the right, this is quite a lot, just keep going right. So, it's not really doable right now. Yeah, similar. That one could be doable, though. I'm going to track this one. I got a feeling this one's way out there. Mm, Turns the mountains. I'm sorry if you're hitting a thing in my headphone, keep hitting my chair. So I think this is the closest one, the best. So basically, it's actually slightly out of our way, but this is a clean, gives us one, one grudge straight away. These probably take longer to get these, but they'll be better. So the full campaign. But I think we need to take this at this point. What's that mean? Why is it 148 on it? Is that how much you get for taking it? By non dual factions. I guess we just get judges for taking factions? Over there, it takes me there. Don't know that one is, so that's probably over here somewhere. The past is the past. Can we get that? It's 202. I just don't want them. It's good to not explode. I just don't. I'm assuming once they got the, the, the mountain thing, they could just go straight under it quite quick, but. What do we see, lads? Let me have a sip of my drink while you end turn. Okay, technology done. Nice. Okay, that's cheaper. That'd be good. I'm glad I wasn't the one that suggested it. What's this one? Upgrade the edge pull. Oh, we can upgrade it now. Building panel. Oh, he carries it around with him. So I've got to wait a turn. Do you gain population? Oh, you do, differently. Come generate it, I'll take that. It'd be neat if you could use that to fly. Ooh, does he have that ability in here? Uh, he does airship travel! Oh, I took that as underground. I think we're going to do that in a minute. Ship camp, planet access score. Oh, so basically he takes places, but he's also like a horde uh, base character. He can make his own... Well, I guess they all can make their own mini base, but I mean, he can really make a mini base. Ambush. Oh, what are these? Army panel. There's the building panel. Oh, here we go. Here we go, people. Wow, oh, holy fudge, 16? 248, I don't think I've ever seen a building need 16. Yeah, it's only up to 5, wow. I guess I allows will go for the full game. Do we get more things in a normal building? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We get, we get 10. What does a normal building normally give us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, right, okay. So we have to get two extra slots going high. That's cool. Hi, Grindy. It's me. It's me. It's Mario. <laughs> so we can go up a grade and really pump this. Or we can start on this. What do we get? Upkeep, recruitment, dwarf, be a resource, production, five kegs. Hmm. Per turn. Okay, so this is the type of one you want to do early. To grade them quicker, isn't it? Circle of influence. Oh, so what's the circle? Is that? Why? Is that the circle of influence? Or is this? 
This is it, isn't it? So that means if you've got like 20 art, well, 20 is a bit strong, you know what I'm saying, four or five armies here, they're all leveling if they go around with him. That's cool. And technically, if I'm not mistaken, there's nothing stopping you building these, and once you're done with just destroying this and going for another route, because we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait a minute. You can max all these out? So the only choice here is really which order to do it in? Is that right? Because this is one line. Bunks is two lines. I make this the third line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? I said this is just there, so. Uh, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Brilliant, that means you can actually build all of this if you wish. That is cool. Normally it's like, oh, you have eight here, you can build eight of the ten, or you have twelve buildings, you can build six of the twelve or something. So I like that. So that means there's, if you build this, there's no need to destroy it. Cool. We're going for it now. We're going for it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did you use population time to build a building? Oh, it's not just gold. That uses the population up. That means it's... So you could either wait the population to build this higher. Ah, oh, I see that's how they've done it. So yes, you can still build everything, but obviously... Do you put it in these lower tiers earlier, or do you get this higher first? And then go up these. It looks like there's only some of these two. Unless I'm, not, unless I'm mistaken... Population, population. These won't use populations. Population won't use. Population, these two won't use. I think that's the way it is. So if I want to get to this level to get this up faster, I need to ignore these. I think XP is, will get will be good, so. Get me the mission done quicker, won't it? That's neat, I like that. If I want more lines, I need to get that up. Oh, is it above me the whole time? Was it just because I'm on this? Oh yeah, it's fine above me. Disable, immune. Move, okay. The most attrition. What normally? Why would the lady call her unstoppable? Why did it lower into me? Shouldn't I have been taken up to it? Engineer. Did I do it wrong? Bro, but that's cut away, I just sneezed. After the snowman comment. Wish I had my pockies on. Have my what are my pockies? What's my pockies? Okay, how does this work then? Or does it have to basically be reachable by this green thing? So, for example, if I was here and I could get here, I could travel it because it's reachable. If it's not reachable, it won't do it. Because in other words, I can't stop like here. Because I guess that would technically be like, you can't stop me. Ha 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 ha. So. Yeah, let's not move. This shouldn't change. Yeah, to me it's not going to make any difference right now. I'm getting over there. Don't go straight across. Oh, he, he like teleports to it. Versus physically walking. I, I kind of feel they did backwards with this though. You know, you literally got it floating above you. And then it lowers into you for you to teleport around. Why do you not... Well, you know, not lower. You, um... What's the word? Rise, that's the word I'm looking for. Rise into it, and then that moves around. We need the most attrition, so that's good. Oh, shit. Now make you a 
Okay. Set of grudges 100. Nice. Oh, it was a new mission. Destroy Fallen Faction. Ah, yeah, okay. Do I fight just to do it or something? The, the, the mountain, the mountains have been cleared, the savage hills no longer have eyes. I've got five turns to do this? Because I'm going the opposite bloody way. Feel that tell me I have five turns to do this in. Can I even get in there? Five turns if I stayed here? I guess I could have moved. There. One, two, three. That's gonna be pretty. Is it seriously five turns? It can't be five turns, surely. I don't want to go down this way. Who's looking at that? I couldn't. Wait a minute. I feel these are mountains. If I was in that, could I have gone to over to that? Is it this stage? Um, did it all save on us? Turn two. I kind of want to check something. I want to check something here. We go back to turn two. We're on turn three right now, aren't we? Because I'm thinking caves travel through, these two connected by a mountain. So if I'm in here, could I just go straight to that one? Because I don't see how we're going to get over there quick enough otherwise. Oh, well, that only works once you've done that grudge and it activates all caves, for example. Like I said, I don't play the walls that often. Like, I think it's Warhammer 1 when I last tried them. And we didn't get that far, I said early in the video. It's just after I already moved. Plus this. Okay, so I didn't have one bloody bit. Okay. I didn't have one bit. I only moved. Okay, fair enough. It's just this. Complete the legendary good retake realms as Oh okay, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. So you have to complete it to get that to work. So it will work, just not right now. Got you. Got you, got you, got you. Oh no! The bird the 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 I was thinking that has five turns to do it, and it's not, is it? It has to reward for five turns after a defeat. I get Campaign movement range, 10% for all armies. So I can move 10% fast. 10, yeah, I guess 10% further, not faster. Further, four or five turns, plus 100 watch strike. Okay. So I know what ain't a time run, I do it when I want. Okay. That's fine. We'll do what we're going to do. Because I feel this is better for the grudges. Who even travels by foot these days? Not you, apparently, me. <laughs> oh, here's a question. Can he, he move while he's recruiting? No, probably not. I think the base one looks like recruits to it. As you know oh, all too well, the power of the Dawi has reverberated through these mountains for millennia. Okay. Harness that strength, and you will have all you need to restore the Karaz Angkor to its former glory. What we just talked about. Dwarf Trinket Shark. Despite this ugly thing, the dwarves create excellent and hot work for the tools. It wasn't a cave building, was there? Not that I say, okay. My Grimby, it's me! Ugh! Always safer behind walls. 
Should we build things that make us move further? Airship recruitment capacity plus one. Growth ten. Unlocks air recruitment. Dragon Slayer. Okay, that's pretty cool. Dwarf Warriors. Pain range. So that increases the range. Okay, so that's a good one to go up. That gets the range. I need that to even start up here. Makes them cheaper. Okay, let's go for that. Because that'd be a good one that'll help get around. The past is the past. You silly little ass. Because there's in the past. <laughs> I was going to get to the five turns quite quick. But I guess I could have gone that way and just dealt with them and dealt with this later. But again, I want to see these grudges things. I feel this is the quickest way to get a grudge. Like a plate. Treasure 2000. Yay. Got more rope. Is that going to unlock the forges? Oh, yep. There it is. It's flashing at us, baby. Oh, and his, his adventures too. So his adventures and the forge are not nice. She only done a bit of field to test for the war machines. Oh, the Dowie, then a slayer's path to doom. View Margaret's adventure panel. Oh, is it this? There we go, it's up there. So I guess stuff here unlocks. Forge unlocked. The pledge of Oath Gold can now unlock the power of millennia. Old dwarfy secrets. View the forge panel. We'll do that in a minute. Got your thingy done. I don't want to waste this yet because I feel I need to go here anyway. I feel it's going to be used for the forge. Okay, what is guy? Armor, ranging units, nearly for miners and yeah. I think we've got. That looks like a slayer. Is that a slayer? Great weapon, we'll go shower. I'll go with that. <laughs> Okay. Absolute perfect. What's this one? Uh, complete a mission from Marcus Adventure. Okay. So that's this thing. Let's look at the forge first, shall we? Okay. Range of crossbow. Pickaxes. So what does this do? Does it upgrade them? Everyone, how does this work? Or just weapons for my heroes? As these like hero things, this is for my heroes, isn't it? Okay. I think that's what it is. Oh, here we go. I don't have anything for this yet. Any item from your magic items pool? Not currently equipped to a character can be recycled into oath gold. Oh, okay. So we can put. So if I took like one of the weapons off and put it here, I could make elf gold from it. Uh, the layer of gold received recycling. Banner runes. Banner runes. What does this do? Don't have enough for it anyway. Increase the armor piercing, missile damage and penetration. I'll settle us. Okay. Oh, are these the runes you want you, you to try to drag it and there's nothing there to drag? Is this basically for this? Okay, when is this free? Oh, okay, I was going to say, is it if, oh, there's only free in the list? There isn't, is it? It's the free, the, I can make free and free and free and free right now. So this is an item. Passive. Vanguard deployment, oh, cool. Army. I am going to scavy. Oh, specific scavy. That could be a good one. Can we make that? More ammo. Let's go. Cool. Might go for the minus one first. Actually, I should probably, before I pick some, just check. I don't need to go to his Avengers, shouldn't I? But if not, go for the miner, I think. Oh, speed, though. It's hidden while firing. Train. Hmm. 
Whoa. Oh, they got it too. Okay, so I can go for a missile thing or that one. I think the weapon's going to be better. And I can see someone need different materials you just have to find. Attacks, okay. Ah, for slayers. Yeah, I think miners then. But before we attempt it, let's check this. Make sure that we don't need to use any for this. Oh, here we go. Here we go, people. Malachi's Avengers are a series of dangerous missions that permanently modify his artillery and war machine units. Come out in their unique legendary battles and other rewards. There are seven different adventures uh, available to complete, each against different foes. Locked uh, adventures become available after legendary battles or prior adventures are complete. Okay, just like I said, I just got you. Each adventure has six different missions. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's like uh, episodes and then they move into different seasons. You know, if it's a TV show, for example. Uh, each adventure has six different missions and one legendary battle. Each with their own condition and that rewards. An adventure... Adventurous legendary battle only becomes available after a certain number of missions are completed in any order. Oh, okay, so you don't have to do every mission. It's like this one needs to have two done, this one needs five done or something. Some of which uh, grant bonuses to the units being modified. Nice, nice. A number of mountain holds have been devastated by a vicious strike. What? Oh, here you can do uh, details of the... Oh, I was reading the adventure. This is what I should be reading. The adventure narrative and what we'll likely be doing. Okay, that's cool. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, the foes to be faced in the adventure, legendary battles are displayed here above a list of rewards gained. Sorry, you're on again. It's quite. Yeah, I'm tired. For completing the battle, uh, Dragon High, passive ability, our spare and sign. Oh, okay, so you'll be facing like dra a dragon? Are they elves? Could be elves. Close possibility our spy and sight of spur of okay. The units being modified during the adventure is displayed here. During it? Above a list of rewards gained from completing the adventure's missions. During the adventure reload. Experience. Okay. So an adventure costs tr ah there we go. Oh, okay, it's money. I was wondering if it was gonna be off gold. It's money, so I was I was half right. I was like, well, it would be off gold, but it does cost you to start a venture. It was just not what I thought. But then again, high ones might need off gold. Oh. So I might be right still. I'm half right right now and half wrong. So an adventure costs treasury and adds to artillery of war. Marching machine being modified to the high machine. Okay. Okay. So. So I have a choice of two to start. This one's actually more expensive. God, look at that. Glasses monster. Dread mortar. Can't see these ones yet. So dragon. Grade unit cannons. Oh, I like to get the copters upgraded. I'm going to Oh, great. Remember, I try to put them in the things. How do I can put behind them? Experience. Missile strength. Missile block. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna build some more copters. When you start the adventure, so you get some at the start, okay. Yeah, let's let, try this one. You have begun the adventure. The button to the left and right of the legendary battle button represents this adventure's missions. Selecting a mission button displays its objectives and rewards. Uh, okay, kill 1000 enemies with drive copters, Brimstone, gone. Oh, is this overall then? So it's not going to take me to a random mission, it's I just got to do this. Thousands of them. Well, then again, I guess when you got like rats running at you, like, you know, 100, 200 in a group, it's probably not that much. The Chaos Dwarves wreck havoc across the land. Uh, Dreadquake, War Machines, to snare ever more captives destined for the factions of the Dark Lands. You are newly uh, assigned dry old copters could make short work of the loathsome Contract or that contraptions, but the pilots are still fresh out training and must be put through the paces with their live combat. This will also serve as a field test for their new vessels. Gathering, okay. 
the number of pips surrounding the legendary battle. Huh? Pips. What's that mean? But indicate how many of the adventurous missions you must complete. Oh. I guess it means these, so I need to complete three to pass this one. Top of the bar displays the active uh, adventure, allowing to easily track your progress and mission information. Okay. Oh, okay. So that, that, that's in the middle, and these are going to be jumped aside. So I guess you can one at a time. Wait, hold on. When multiplying adventures are... When multiple... Multiple. Okay, so yeah, multiple adventures are active. Clicking the pin adventure button on the selected adventure will set its display. Okay, so you can do multiple. So yeah, then really, you want all these being at... Oh, no, you... Okay, I was going to say you want them more, more active, don't you? But there's a timer on a cooldown. But by sound of it, if we don't really use these units, if I turn like this out, activated. But yeah, you really want all these active at once, don't you? So in your battles, if it's just killing stuff. Kill Thousand, Brimstone, Fight Comic Army. So. How does this work like? Are these just all active at once? Meaning, as long as I'm using the copters, this is going up. Or do I have to have one of these active only? Appointment for the gathering unit. Okay, this is showing where this can be for Isn't it? Fight on the okay. So this is this is active all the time then this a specific location. Like three battles in region with wasteland climate. I guess where we are is wasteland. I guess if we weren't that would take me to it. So technically just fighting this area should get me these two up, but I only need three. Maintain a total of three units of the following type, current total one. Troll harmless growth, so this is gonna be easy once you're further in the game. Fight five battles against Chaos Dwarfs. Yeah, we're distance from me right now. I'm a trade agreement with Kelsey. Kelsey. With Kelsey or Carol Faction. So yeah, them two in that one might be doable. Okay, let me make this thing so we're gonna do it was the minus. Permanent upgrades during adventure. To the high mercenary. Oh, so I can hire them now. Nice. Okay. So I wouldn't mind hiring some more so they can get through this quicker. Innovator! Innovator! Um, might as well push these up where I can. Because obviously there's no real loss to these. I wouldn't mind getting that range thing that on though. Keep it be good, that'll help money wise. I'll have this one for now. And then we'll wait for the range one after that, I think. Okay, so. Only the toughest down. I thought it'd been added to the, the thingy. So also give one of these a talisman. Me, yeah, with you, Letty. Who should take this talisman? Because really, you don't really want to be in the thing, geek. do you? Thinking about it. You grudges in the making. I think you, and then give get another one for you at a later date. These ones are handy. There. I'm sure, you like to get in the thick of it. I'll try not to kill you. Oh, I just don't know what it sounds like. What the? Why is he not free? Apparently, he can uh, use runes. Oh, wait a minute. You must be, lads. Oh, that's. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it must be for Dwarf. Oh! Well, these were specific runes, wasn't it? I think. Okay, maybe. I'll, there we go. So, this is what these for, so they get up to three. What is he trying to. I guess you get, get three of them. Why didn't we get freeze? It's large. Okay, so you get these. That's cool. 
Okay, that's cool. Well, that would have been better, but hey, we've already done it now. Explosives expert. Okay, I thought we had the ability to Only the toughest earn more of these now, or have you just give me. No, you haven't given me an extra. What loss these even have, by the way? I mean, we're locked. Okay. Because my, cause my point is right now, I lose these. Speaking of which, how do I make these permanent? I what? Check your version two. Okay, so if I want them permanent from this, fudge, I gotta get eight population. That's gonna be a while off. What about permanent from one of these? I'll figure it out. Okay, that's better. Right, can we see them, people? Wow, oh, it's four as well. I thought I could make them while this mission's on. So if I lose my unit, then I'm screwed for a while. Oh! I didn't realize, so by say passing this, you get this money and you get off gold. So you get part of the reward. So did these different rewards for them? So like passing this one, 360 missile block makes them stronger. If I go deployment. Ah. Okay, here's a question. Did these make up all this? Like, is there a reason you need to do three and just end it? Is there a reason you go, oh, I need to do all six? So, your active deployment, that's that. 360 block. Block. So chance is that okay? So far so good. Unique experience is that. Don't see the treasury option. Missile strength is that. I guess you just get these with passing everything. But yeah, the rewards are up here. But my my my, like I said, my only question is, do we, like I said, if we pass three of these, do we not get the other three, or does that give us everything? I guess we'll just keep heading this way and then make our way over there. Engineer. Probably we can't. Or is it because we're building these? Can we not move when building these? Oh, uh, I guess that makes sense. So yeah, you'll watch when you build these too. So you want to be building these where you're probably uh, recuperating from a battle. Because you can't move yourself. Like, now I can move, or I can build this one to move again. I'm only better but that move. Can I move and then build? At the end of it? So that's what you should do. You should move, then build, move and build, especially if it only takes one turn. Does everything with this take one turn? Uh, is it going to tell me to get higher up, is it? So that's how you should do it. Oh, hello, what do you want? Uh, well, that's going to make me there quicker, so why not? New stuff, new ideas. New stuff, new ideas, new everything, baby. Why, why, baby? You're my dwarfy, baby. Oh, hello. Gods are angry. Why? What have we done? What have we done? 
The omens are ill. Something you have done has angered the gods. Unless you said, what have I done? What have I done? Yeah, they are fickle. They may forgive you in time, or more immediate appearance may be necessary. Treasury, a thousand. Control. Okay, that'd be good. But it's not a thousand. It's not too bad. Angry the gods. I lose control. Uh, don't want any rebellions right now. So... Oh, wait. I get 20% growth for provinces. Does that count the ship, too? It's not really a province. Yeah, we're gonna go with the growth. I think the control should be fine. Why? I hope the controls are fine. Steam cottages and gas there faster. Oh wait a minute. Was I not in that mode anymore? Because you just walked that. You just let you walk that. Why? Why did you walk that? So yeah, until I get this, I can't upgrade anything else. Oh, actually I can, if I wait. So yeah, I probably want to get the campaign movement one, so I'll wait for thingy. But you, you walk that. You definitely walk that. Are we to one myself? You know, since we're a little bit further, legs. screw it. Still got it. Maintenance, that's key. Oh, hello, what's wrong? Yeah, yeah, we might as well. So I guess I've got to watch that. It's on all the time. Have I turned off somehow, not realizing it, or it turns off each turn? I mean, when I built something, I turned it off. Maybe he goes into like the the camp stance. <laughs> Innovator. Okay. You're a bit crazy back then, huh? Uh, let's get your blades up. Oh, did you level two? Have you left behind, mate? Is that what, what's happening here? Really? I what? Can I attack in this mold? Spirit of Grundy. No, but I also can't reach. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Do you have any other units? Oh god, you do. Oh god. Oh god. Um, I think we get wiped. Uh, we need to recruit people. Yeah, grudges in the making. Okay. I'm going to say we want to recruit him. We'll do that. Just wait. Okay. So I guess a few slayers. Oh, fudge one. Oh, they're all going to take one anyway. Um, is this what this can make right now? I should be able to make dwarf warriors and koalas. Wait now. Okay, I'm a little confused. Shouldn't I be able to make all three of these slayers? Dragon things are not there. A firma dragon tooth. Aye. These ones are oh yes they are. So these must be from the other buildings. They're my provinces, mustn't they? But this is from this itself. So I do want to be able to make more at once. Yeah, that's why then. Got you. Okay. So I, so I can actually make more units for this particular army right now, but the trouble is I can only do uh, one at a time. Wrong button. Actually, it wasn't right, right, wrong button. I kind of want to know if there's a way to increase that. Uh, what was it called? 
I'll try not to kill you. Creep me in progress. Creep number or something? Oh! Oh, they've got an adventure units. So I can only have three at a time, so I assume they die, you can make more. That helps. Treasury of entry cannons, nice. Huh? I passed the mission? Which one and why? Oh, we've got to maintain them. So I guess this will be unfinished if I lose them. Is this maintain? That just made us a lot stronger. Greatest inventor. Okay. Mm, wish I had my pockies on. I can't do any more adventure units now. That's fine. Only the toughest dowry. Okay. So yeah. We get dwarf warriors. So basically, make stronger units here, but I'm going to be waiting longer. It's a difference, isn't it? Oh, hello, my lord. A rival power desires a change in your mutual relations. Ooh, tried. Okay. Yeah, fine. I'll go with that for now. And you're giving me 300. Could we, um. Can I have that back any chance? Oh, that's exactly what you want to give me, fine. I was hoping I could squeeze something out of them. I mean, for time wise, 1 out of 7. Research. Another one? What's this one? I need one more. Oh my trade! Oh, he just handed me the trade agreement. Oh, I, I read that wrong earlier. I, I thought it was like an alliance or something. Just trade, okay. One more. Let me get this part done. Attribute Vanguard deployment for Ginger Unit. Fight Convoy Army. Well, that's too far away. Well, hey, we get to kill these rats. There's a lot of them, so. Okay, is there anything here that's better for me to go for? I might go up that one, but I'll wait. Growth. I want to get that. There, there it is, isn't it? Recruitment with cash capacity. That's two, that's one, so you can have three to get four at a time. I guess right now that's going to be more important than that because I'm close enough ish. So we're going to hold off. It's two turns, one more. For Karak Kadrin and a warm mug. The warm mug, my mate. You grudges in the making. So how many slaves do I have right now? Did I cancel it before? No, I got him now. One, two. I thought I already had a slave before you came. Yeah, I'm gonna wait with this. Oh no no no! Don't go thingy. I have got my haha. <laughs> Is there anything I can do? It's gonna push up my. Uh, blast. You know them things I'm building. Push up Slayer specifically.
assuming still doesn't be up in this end somewhere. I'm blind, I don't see the picture of a slayer. Ooh, that was, well, that's a slayer. There it is. So I need Oath if I want to go down that route. Range for Thunder and Slayer Pirate Units. Missile Strength. I thought Slayer was a melee. I mean, you Slayer as melee. Any large, fast for a dwarf, death blow, willing. Okay, that's one thing, no, any large. Rats, I guess they could have some any large, so then one or two would be good, but. I'll try not to kill you. Armor shield, what's all sort of like a lot of minions? Armor, decent melee combat. And close court infantry, slay. Oh, pirates. Fast for a dwarf, death blow, fire, what swaz moving. Oh, so you 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 hybrid, you can do both. Okay, that makes more sense now. So what is this I'm dealing? Dual axe inventory. Oh about dual axes. Whirling axe. So I'm gonna have two of them. So I didn't build a slayer then. I thought I did obviously. Did my slayers die last time? I guess I was my slayer, I didn't even realise that. Well, unless I mix up these as a slayer. Oh, they are called slayers. Oh, pirate, uh, pirate slayer got you. Yeah, that should be fine. So I want to go for that. I can't do, I get some more. If I don't fight, it's like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It's going to be five turns. So that means I can build something else in four then. Why not? Invention? Only thing that's kept dwarves alive. I make some of these pirate slayers. Be sure to put your oath gold to good use, mm -hmm. my lord. I plan. The forge allows you to craft. I plan to do that. I, I need 250 though. Or mighty runes. To bestow upon your most favoured warriors. I need 250. Ah, it's cozy One more enough. turn. For Karak, I will end in a one month. Pezzy, what do you need? Hello. Trade agreement, why not? Could have started blasting these rats up and cutting them up. Oop. That's just gone. Engineer. So, like I said, so I can create units quicker. It's going to be worth it, and then we go for that one next. I'll make you a snowman. Okay. You was me, lad. Well, sort of pirate, and then basically next turn I should be able to. Is it, is it plus two? So it'll be free. Yeah, I must have it then. Oh, hello, you. Come go. Okay, dwarf. Generated. Siege and what hero recruitment mass engineer. What hero recruitment recruit rank. So they come out as a better rank. I wanna get up to that one, so I think I'm gonna go with these. Yeah. To keep these as a permanent thing eventually. But oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, well, I'm doing it free. No, I need it under. I don't know. I need it under here. Don't want to max it out, don't I? 
So this one should take it. So I'm going to cancel that actually. Because this can only go to three, can't it? So. So probably this one or these then. Because obviously these are only up to here with money. What you guys? Ironclad. Andres, what are you guys? Yeah, I'll go with this one. We have something better. Bow web. Okay. I'm Grimly. It's me. It's me, Mario. <laughs> And then when that goes up and do that one. I feel like if I was doing this campaign properly, but just trying to get to these units, I probably would be doing this slower and having another lord out there ba building people and have somebody attacking a bit. I what? Okay. So, if I'm not mistaken, he get his pocky joint. Yes, oh, okay, that's one at a time, okay. So, in the end, you can have up to three with this. But I bet better units down here now. So I'll let it go. Two. And you are a minor. You are you, and you are you, okay. And you cost a same. On the shield. Armored and shielded. Charge defense against large foes. One of each. I'll do for now. And the reason you can build them is it because of the influence of this thing? Alright, in turn. Oh, I didn't check my elf guild. But I said it was 10, so I shouldn't have enough yet, but if it's more than 10. But then again, I might as well finish that research off anyway. Oh, yeah, I have enough. And there's that technology done, so. Be the best. Be the best, but not the rest. Oh, of course. Now I've recruited a plus two, and I don't want to recruit anyone. Thanks for that game. So within one turn, oh okay. Hundred right. So we can hold off for one turn. I'm glad I wasn't the one that suggested. That's what we might have to hold off for one turn because I don't think you Extra guys can physically make it. Are we not to warm myself? For a glorious day. Left. I'm swore being 2020 though. I got a feeling you want me to kill this. Let me save. You know, it's one trouble when I find if you just sit there waiting around, they kind of get too big for you. I should attack sooner. Uh, who is this called again? This is Mala. Okay. First special save, technically, because it's with all these <laughs> autos. Okay. Oh, I want to hit, hit him oh, first, don't I? Grace, yeah. so I don't think we'll be able to fight that many. Twist, bend, mangle, experiment! Okay. Oh, right. Go ahead and. Shut up, you lot! The best boots are that we made, of course. So you never know what might think we've gone and come across the hills. For Karak Katrin and a warm Kinda of hoping one of them does that. And if not, we can make a ambush and tap, let's go. Come on, matey. No. 
Numpty. Get your head like that. What do you want, Numpty? Peace treaty. Okay. You're not this guy, are you? No. Well, I'm fine with that. Then you'll give me two thousand for peace for now. Can I count with this for something more? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, that, that's your max. Seriously, mate? Mm. You mean anything else? Who are who? Okay. Who are these? What's the name? I don't know the name. Well, I could do a war with them right now. I guess the symbol. I'll say it's not them, wouldn't you? Who's Brotherhood? They're probably over here, so I can't see them. Fine, we'll take that, I guess. You don't give me money to each turn by any chance? Hello! In the spread of the reckless fool who is loudly besmirching the quality of dwarven engineering and mocking the failures of your past, of course he is. Moreover, the wretch seems to find the lives lost in the tragedy amusing. Wow, sickle. Sharing the tale through rampant fits of laughter. The unforgivable words uh, spark outrage among your kin. The clans demand vengeance at once, and they will not rest until justice has been served. Total war, holy fudge. Clear war on the faction. A large amount of grudges are in in incurred by them. To the book. Small amount of grudges. Huh? Oh, I guess I put them into the book, and then I can declare later. The name into the Dungeon Crown, this disrespect must be re remembered through the ages. They won't be laughing anymore once the Legion ends. Okay. Can I, can I tell where they are? Yeah, that, that was one of the ones I could tell him to attack, and I didn't know where it was. Into the book for now. What power on that? So, have I added him to the book? Are we set to arm myself? The guild may not like it, but I do. No. Guess we're gonna find out his reckoning soon. Okay. All right. Did they get leave? I'll make you into a snowman. I guess we'll see if these are strong enough against rats. Probably not. What? Ah, no! Do do Close that droid. Fudge in hell. You know what? We're gonna resolve it. Screw it. Because we're doing this a test of thingies and we need to see that place, don't we? If I was to do this properly, I would fight it. But I want to test the mechanics. Lost two of them, as long as the things aren't just due to make more, so. Okay. So obviously, oh fudge! I was gonna say obviously take it and we get this. It's this isn't it? It's occupying it. It's what we need. Occupy. Wow. Well, we have attained complete control. I what? Come. So we've passed that one, right? And did we help with this by any chance? Oh, it's the wrong one. 
Oh, that Batmall's got enough. Engineer, you're not going to get me to six. Okay, you were uh, there. I'll be tunneling. Pure beard. <laughs> Pure beard, people. Slayer giants. Okay. I'm trying to make them strong, because why not? Just get these up my way, I guess. Base weather very percent, that's cool. I guess it's 10% once he's in the area. Or, uh, do we have any slayers or pirate slayers on this? Let's increase them things. More ammo, that'd be good. There they are. What a great damn. Better both of them. Holy fudge. Physical, what's this? 10% uh, fighting against. Oh, okay, Pacific ones. Chaos. Oh, okay, so this is for Pacific ones you want to fight against. Green skins. Oh, 10%, that'd be good. Probably go for that one just for the extra 10%. I need the deployment. Oh, he gets the deployment anyway. That means I can give his thing to someone else. Yeah, look at that. Where's your bud, bud? So, yeah, really, then, I want. Yeah, you still get the actual thing, but I'm going to take that off you. I'm going to give it to your buddy. So he can vanguard with you. Why can't I have any of these anymore? Or is it a one off thing? Oh, is it a one off thing? You're grudges in the. Grudges in the make. Ooh. New place. How far up is it? How to? And it goes up to five, so technically I can make this be the Slayer place. Or the thingy place. Innovator. Innovator. Only the toughest dowry. Yeah, that once then. I'll try not to kill you. Please don't. Emphasis on try. We get two more of these. Got all some of them. Um, I'm shielded. Decent melee combat. And, oh, I didn't mean that. What did I do? I'm gonna do decent melee. Decent melee. So that was supposed to do a grudge, wasn't it? 
Do I have to hold it so many turns? Oh, this is alive. Oh, because of him. Okay, so we got killing to take somewhere. Well, obviously, right now we are a little weak. A little weak. So we almost got a grudge. Almost people. What, oh, mate? Trade, trade, payments. You the guy made fun of me before. I'll take it. I'm buying that for a dollar. How's that pause, by the way? The past is the past. Two turns. I'd like to replace it with these. These ones I know. I'd rather like to replace them with them. But I guess a couple of extra slayers. Parcelers would be great for now. Okay. Which one is it? I'm becoming at work. Probably this one, isn't it? Engineer. Check browse. That will help me catch them. We got that extra five percent now, and then I can start pushing these up more. Let heal up a little bit. Yeah, in sequence you could put. Yeah, I, I know all that. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know, I know. And change it so it follows them. I prefer it on that normally, but again, for this, I just try to do it quicker. So it's fine. Just keep it on the spot. When I start my main shows off again, then yeah, I'll probably put it back on that. Is that you, Demi? Taking a peek at us? Wait. 15. Did it reset then? Oh, is that how it works then? So if say I got here, hypothetically, then it for 15 minutes it would stay in that, and then every time it, it resets to this. Because I was in there, wasn't I? And I just thought, so surely that should have gone up, not down. So I guess after 15, it stays in the age it was in, and I didn't get that full enough. So we're in the same elegant age. An age of reckoning has concluded, a new age of reckoning must begin. No dwarf shall rest until the grudges have been struck from the book. Those who relent must prove themselves in kind. Immediately, there's no time for delay. We're in charge, only content of vengeance. Just for now, you have other things to attend to while you can continue to settle their scores. Do you reckon for 15 turns? Quite 20% more settled grudges. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Because I didn't have to get my grudge because I didn't kill him. But I probably would have if I got to him. So we ended because they're literally next. Yeah, and they're next. Nice cut. Okay, are we 100% back? I'll figure it out. Well, wait, that one turn. What he's doing over there? Right. Yeah, we'll wait the one turn and go after him. Fuck, mate. So keep it brief. That's fine. Just keep the money rolling in. I'm going to need a bigger foe. 
Absolutely yeah. not. No exceptions. Let's get a Robin. What's this one? So yeah, it's gonna help us move and catch people quicker, so we'll go with that. Ooh, wish I had my bulkies on. Explosives expert. Oh, you love them, nice. Nice, nice, baby, nice. Hey, is there anyone rats? Is these are rats. Uh, against chaos, not scared dwarfs, demons, nope. Uh melee against green skin noop. What's beast ones? Uh Vanguard deployment would against beast men nope, don't they do rats? Fine elves Nope From Vampire Okay, so they actually have one for rats. Oh what's this one? Bush defense fifteen percent, leadership fifteen. Slippery. Scavenger, that's rats. Oh yeah, rat man. So we bush defense, we get fifty percent from ambushes. Leadership fifteen. If we, I guess, if they take us underground. Okay, we'll go with that. And what slippery? Speed and melee defense. Okay. Anyone else leveled? Charge, passive, evasion. Seriously? Thank God. <laughs> Fine. Can I have this back then? Can you Vanguard already or not? Do you have the Vanguard? Can I give it to you? I don't want to need you Vanguarding, but. Nah, screw it. At this point. You take it back just for the armor piercing, okay? The Vanguard's useless, but hey, you can armor pierce them. For Karak, Kadrin, and a warm okay, so we just gotta wait one turn while you run. Oh my god, why are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah, we'll trade. Good, good. Trade is done. Trade is good. Trade, we are one. And when I beat him, we should get a big grudge. Mr. Seth's for Grudge Island. Destroying the fallen fa- Huh? Isn't that you? Madra. That's not them, is it? Okay. What just happened? <laughs> Perfect. With maybe a tweak or two. Keep okay. okay. Ah. Ah. Cozy or another. What just happened? Display display. Yes, this was a done. That's okay. So this is a different one. So what? What did I just do? When I put it in the book, did the other guy get killed or something? Someone else killed him, so it counted for mine? Don't see one of them. Did this pass? Okay, I should pass it now. I don't know what grudge got passed. Destroy the fallen faction, burst more. Okay, they died somehow. Wasn't by me though. I guess another dwarf did it, so it counts. Oh, I, I can't wait. Come on, mate. No, 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 don't do, do this. Don't do this. Are we left to warm ourselves? 
Greatest inventor. Back off. Holy sugar on a sugar. Uh, I did not realize that was there. Uh... Okay, this will get me that grudge though. Nice. <laughs> Better lost one too. So I guess occupy. I think if you do it properly, I'll probably like raid them once or twice first and occupy next turn. But again, I'm just trying to get these grudges. So I revealed we have just got a scarab faction. Oh, that's it. Trick gain. Okay. There we go. Pleasure battle. It's a battle fire. Okay. It's successfully completed. There we go. So yeah, you don't, as long as you hit this once, they stay. Okay, nice. Oh, I guess I can start that too now at the same time. Um, Innovator. Do we by any chance? You was me, lad. Oh, okay. They're still out because of that group. Eh. Because of him. So basically, I need to kill him quick and then I can attempt this other mission quick. And the two birds will stone. Then we'll probably call that the episode at that point. Because I think we've looked at everything at least a tiny bit then, haven't we? Oh, why? You cannot currently acquire characters currently garrison a settlement. Oh, he has to be at the settlement, got you. I kind of want him to level up a little. Well, not level, kill him. It's me, it's me Mario! You level again, bud? Um, Time sand. Ship size. Scavenger. Okay, so I would like to attack him next go. Or did you do it for me? Well, that works. Yeah, we'll just roll it now. That'll get us quicker. I think if there's a proper campaign now, I would do this. But we want to get that battle done faster, don't we? So we're going to do the replenishment, I think. What's that for? Yeah, this one. Is that them dead now? Did he just attack us? Or is it more of them out? Yes. 2000. Is that sh Whoa! 100%, beautiful. Progress 2-7. So yeah, filling one grudge in one book makes sense. So yeah, if I wasn't about to do that one, if it was a proper campaign, it, if I was aiming for, say, the other side, it would have been worth delaying it by 15 turns. So it would probably give me fifth, uh, 30 turns to do a grudge. So that's cool to know if I do this in the future, if that's a proper one. 
So at the end of this, I should get all them things. I guess for that, that time period, I'll be, for 15 seconds, I'll be able to make them units. So this is removed. Kill 3,000 enemies with artillery. And for the bird as well. It's kind of what we're trying to kill anyway. Shit, we're fighting a scavenger here. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. So it stays in the book, but to show you've done it. Nice. Call miners when in own territory. Settle grudges. Cool. So yeah, you only need to pass one of these at a time, ideally, don't you? Okay. I guess I've got to wait the eight turns to get these. I guess we have to at least get to that. Or not. Oh, that's what I got. Okay, so I've got 3,000, but I have to wait 12 turns, and then I can... Wait a minute. No, no. Oh, I misread that. Obviously, 7500 zero, zero is a lot higher than 3098. So I, I need to really pass two? That would give me 60,000? Well, three grudges, wouldn't I? To get one of these guys. Okay. How's that going towards the victory condition to this one? Okay, two of these isn't so grudging on part of this. I just like the, the meat and potatoes to get you to this. Got you, got you. Okay, how hot hurt are we right now? Wrong button. Did we lose anybody? Okay, that's helped a lot. Probably just one turn. Two, seriously. Seems like it's going to be awkward. Two turns and we can try one of these. And that'll help push this as well. So we want to get 12 turns done and this and that's the episode done. We'll probably just skip, skip, skip after we've done this battle in a minute. Explosives expelled. It's the place. The past is the past. Engineer. Why, Grandma? What, is it, can I build something? Somebody needing leveling. Innovator. Don't worry, grabbing me. I'm on it. Notification for. I grin me. It's me. Slayer. It's me, Slayer. Explosives expelled. Is it because I've not moved you? You just thought. Oh, it is, isn't it? That's why. Oh, hello. This suffices. Good for you. The past is the past. Shut your door. What do you want now? Oh, whatever. Trade, trade, trade. Does that help it? But yeah, I think it's quite safe to say that uh, the other part of the DLC, the final part, what we'll do is long as I get done in time next week's episode. Less, like I said, Age of Wonders DLC jumps out and I'll probably throw that in first. Or if I've just fallen behind with stuff, I might hold it for the following week, but we'll see. The goal is for next week. All right. For one more turn, though, why? It's helping this turn to go up or down anyway. So we want to do the battle, get the end of these 12 turns, and then I think we are done for this episode. So I think we have had a look at all the mechanics at that point, once we've done them too, wouldn't you agree? Oh. Well, hello. I what? Exception. Are we? Whoa. A no. breaking tooth. Okay, you're now ready to go, right? Do we got any... Yeah, it's going up slow, though. Innovator! We'll probably hold off for that anyway. Okay, so let's save here. And just do three. So we'll send out here. Aye. They'll probably take that if we need to declare the war, but again, that's not the goal. It's not trying to win this campaign, is it? It's just to look at the stuff. Get the wrong blue button. The button's up here. <laughs> 
Tell you what it is. Woo! So I guess just teleport and do it. Yep. Wow. And again, we could win it instantly. No, we can't. So we're gonna have to do it properly. Okay. I was gonna say. I was gonna say we could win it instantly. We will resolve. We will attempt it properly. And if we do lose, we'll just reload and win it instantly. <laughs> Obviously, I have to do it properly and win. <laughs> okay. I guess cast dwarfs. Wish could build more of these. Obviously, I was doing it properly. I probably would have fought with them. And not let them get killed. They said auto in it. <laughs> He's like, what? I can't hear you. <laughs> Take a drink quick. Everybody, let rock and roll, everybody. Hopefully these slayers are good. Since technically we're not used to have we the pirate version before. And since I've kind of focused on them. <laughs> I need to resist all resolves. Kind of not use them either, have we? Go with pants down, nice. That's pretty cool. Because you've got reinforcements coming at some point. Oh, that's the thing. That's the main thing, isn't it? Wow. Oh, he's got artillery, so we need to get in there fast. It's two artillery. Level 20. Ooh. Maybe this is something you kind of want to do later on in the game. Because we're nowhere near 20. Great. <laughs> okay, so your missile specialist. I'll just put you a bunch of missile specialists, shall we? Vanguard, okay. You can Oh, you guys got Vanguard. This one's we won this, isn't it? Or oh, we pass that particular one and we never did. Is there anyone else can Vanguard? You're all melee, right? So we do this right. Get them straight in there and attack these. Let the vengeance begin. So you're going to be group three. You're going to be nice in group six, and you're going to be group five. Okay, we're going to put group five. You basically need to actually do damage this time. I guess you can hit them from here. Oh well, yeah, just stay there and just pound the living bejesus out of them. You guys are going to have to just rush up as quick and down as fast as possible. Six. I kind of want you to fly straight in there. Let's see what the vanguard really do.
Go for that. Kind of want to. They don't know they're there. I want them to go after us, and these could come out and get these. That's the plan. They'll turn and smash these. We're screwed. God, what's that, mates? Well, that's giving them opportunities. Okay. Are you my guns first? Okay, you're technically guns, and he's came forward, that's fine. Go for that first. Which are the first guys on the scene. Take this thing apart. Okay, who's who now? L one's dead, fudge. Yeah, just pull out you. Oh he is anyway. Not the big boys. Where's your big turret gun? Oh god, oh god, oh god, but the one's got it. Ah. Got it. Okay. Do you guys want to refocus? Fire on them. Freeze. I guess we just want to circle these quick. Cetera. The only sleepy guys right now should be you and these. Okay, where's your big guys? I kind of want to get them all into, the, into it. Nobody's sleepy except for this group, right? And I'll say him. Do it. Hopefully, I haven't pulled it. I was hoping these would sit the back to shoot. I've seen them now. Place this right here. Let's turn the tide for us. Fighting right now, guys. Nice. Just uh, there's some damage. Got the damper on the person weapon damage. Speed. Yes. Agreed. Strike. I command the spirit of Prudy. 
Why did Angle think I'm gonna be an actual kill? What I don't like is he's coming so close, he basically decided not to run. They're gonna slaughter these. You know what, if you wanna pick off these, that'd be great. There's also a group in them. The hero drops though. Well, he's about to. Oh, don't need to get reinforcements in this map. Is that what? Come on, you guys. Get over there and help them. Yeah, it's them. Fudge, I forgot. Guys, quickly, kill him. Helping these. Just keep making your way over and killing these as you go. Like that, we've left. Just stay on now. We can get that again. It'd be nice if we could get this twice in the game. This is where the, the copters come in and bombing these would be amazing. If I had more, I need the bombs left. Train? Come on, train. Go boom boom. How much left of this thing? There we go. Time to deal with the remaining foes. Commander. 
Oh, this should freak these guys out. We're still getting bombed. the other guy because he's still here. Come on, get him. We got it. Nice. <laughs> Social profit in his army destroyed his train. So I think they were still over there but we got the job done. Nice. Blue type hull. Okay, now it's just end the turn and see this grudge thing and I think we've shown for, for this new race anyway, or this new lord, all the mechanics. And that was the goal of the episode. It's just taking us almost three hours. <laughs> and then we're last, we have uh, Elspis to do next time. I don't know which I like more out of the dwarf and this one now. Um, well, this dwarf, I mean, and the, um, the green dude, I forgot his name. You know, we did last time, Tambor, okay? whatever his name is and part of me feels the Tamba was more fun than the Dwarf is but part of me feels that the Tamba flew better or flowed better should I say his gameplay seemed to flow better where part of me really likes this Dwarf stuff but I feel to get to the better bits of it you have to really rush things like I've been doing and it kind of disjointed it a little bit and took some fun away from it so I think as a proper full-on campaign, I think the other guy's actually more fun. But I like his mechanics better. Even if I think they're a little disjointed. Ah, uh, drink. Oh. This one's from Plus in charges, we know a lot. And just complete dread quake destruction. But well, maybe that's the thing with these, you're not supposed to rush these mechanics at the start, you just play it more normal, just be, you know, lean in direction you're supposed to go in, for certain things for grudges, but not try to rush them. And then this might flow a bit better. So I would say out of the two so far then, Dwarfies, my opinion of them has been the second best, well it's kind of, but the, the green guys from the Thrones or DK, um, it's, it's, it's gone up a lot more. So you know how you got number one, like they're way ahead. They got number two, maybe it's like 20 points difference. And number three, 20 points difference. I would say these two are a close second. Like I think I do also still prefer them overall just. But I do think they would flow better for the, the funness. But I do think not trying to rush the campaigns just to get the old mechanics in. Uh, would make the wars more fun. So that's why I'm still, in my opinion, giving them second place right now. But before, when there's like a 20 point difference between them and the greens, now I would say two points, one point maybe. Okay. So, that took us all that. And one good thing when you do these things, it gives you other people to see. So, we should be back over here now. Almost half dead though. Malachi Macaisen. Oh. So, we lost two. Oh, and these are actually... I thought I lost... Oh, he must have just run away. It's always good when it's somebody, it's somebody else's learning. Uh, I guess we'll finish that one off. Oh, 
I'm gonna go with the Okay. A little bit of luck and a whole lot of black. Little black pretty. I'll try not to kill you. Okay, so we have to do ten turns and finish this off. So now how do I, I complete it? Does it complete? Could you do more if you can play that? Did I complete that? Did I not complete that? What's wrong with this? Why has it got that symbol? I'm confused. Done, done. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, these are unlocked now. Oh, God, so you pick all of them except for this one. Change the lock until you complete three Avengers. Oh! So this was unlocked until you done one of the first two. That's cool. So it's worth passing that to get a very quick look at some of the other quests he gets to do. So we won't get to see this one. That's cool. So that's done. I, I guess it's telling me because it wants me to pick a new one, isn't it? Probably. Dead foes. So that's what specs to fight. Got here. Yeah. Upgrade. Oh, the Kyle Bombers. Oh, Copters and Bombers, but I thought they were the same, they're different things. These are Copters. I didn't, I guess my Bombers probably got killed, did they? Which one was those? This one. Primary Grudge Cells. They're all Copters, okay. So this upgrades the Cannons. This was my Copters. So can I still do this stuff to get these? Since it looks like it doesn't give me this stuff in the end. You know, I've done free to pass it, but can I carry on with these and get more? Because I would have to... Ah, Chaos Dwarfs. Yeah, I think it might do. So if I did four more dwarfs, that would unlock the next part of it. Okay. That's cool if it lets you keep doing that. Oh, one more battle in the region, that would, that would prove it, won't it? So if I fight them and just declare war against them to fight them, that would actually prove it. So I might do that in a second. So that does the cop, uh, the goblin, bombers, flame cannons, fog cannons. Too, uh, too bad it's done for slaves, but I guess it's on the machinery, isn't it? And I guess by. Oh, you can't just start it. Ah, they give you when you start the adventure. Okay, got you. So you start the adventure, you get some. 
Evenness. So, uh, so basically, you pay the 45, you're basically paying for them units, aren't you, in a way, to access a few of the units so you can actually complete this, because if you, so if you don't have them yet. So in a way, it's a good way to get some of these big units quite soon. Do this one. Oh, I should. It's me, it's Mario! I need three of them. I don't have three, so... Somebody's going to go bye-bye, sorry, buddy. Uh, I like your Slayers, I like them. I'm going to get rid of a Miner. Just take with the setup. All right. Only the toughest down. Some bombers here. So then, if I'm if I want to test this quick, uh, this if it will give me the other thing, because what does this one give me? No, because this is obviously the wasteland. Uh, this will give me Cairo experience. This one. Let me save. For the simple reason, if it does this and I'm doing these extra turns and because I declared war with them, they didn't start attacking me and ruin it, we can just reload them to do it from there. Oh, There's not many day. here, so hopefully. Innovator. Let's give them something to remember us by, eh? Yeah, I don't care. I have good and this is for that test. So it's going to, uh oh. It's just going to lose the copter. Uh, I guess for what we're going to do, it doesn't matter. I just want to see if the wasteland battle will work. Slayer by name, slayer by nature. Vampire Slayer. The mission of Melka Vampire Slayer Adventures being successfully completed. Oh, I actually passed one of the missions, not even trying it. <laughs> one, this one, why? What do they have to do? Fight one arm with a spellcaster lord leading. Oh, okay. But my, what I was doing it for was this. To see if it counted. Either I'm not in the wasteland anymore or that didn't count. Meaning if you want to get these other rewards, you need to complete them before you do that battle. Then. How do I know if this is the wasteland? Or did it... Because the fact I got two. I was going to say if this is the wasteland... That makes sense, but... Why is it two? Like, how do I know this is the wasteland? Let's see says over here for this. Is there anything else I can do closer? I would say it's not work, but the fact that you can go with these. Maybe just to show you where they were. So maybe you're supposed to before, because again, obviously I didn't have to do that mission yet. Ooh, I have possibly a way to test it. She's standing right there before I did the thing, so if I load that one up before I click it and see if it casts as a wasteland. I'm looking at the wrong one too, aren't I? Let's do that. So... I'm assuming this for was before I did the battle. So we just got to save there, so... It's also, like I said, this is episodes about chip mechanics and, and testing things. And then we just want to end 10 turns in a row without fighting anything to do as quick as possible, basically. And then we're done. Because if this goes up, then it doesn't count once you've done the main thing. If this doesn't go up, then that battle isn't in the bloody wasteland. And there's a chance that it'll still go up. At that point, I might just stand across the map and have 10 turns to try and reach the Chaos Dwarf or something. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, I'll make sure this is right. 
Yep, teleport. So I haven't done it yet. Oh. That was two, so that battle made two. So I'm not in the wasteland then, am I? Okay, that's that question. And I guess just to double check. Just for the sake of it. Let's give them something to remember us by, eh? It does not aid Kislev. Give them a good crunchy! Crunchies must be paid in blood. You know the rules. Yep, this was a wasteland, one of three. Okay. So in other words, it may go up then. Go back to that one. So yeah, I think you can still get them rewards then, right now. I just don't know where the wasteland is. Obviously, way over there is, and apparently I've already did battle the wasteland at some point. So it can be on two. So how did you find the wasteland? It doesn't tell you any hold of a tile, does it? In this, low. Let me have a sip, quick. There's two things I want to find out quick before we end. Then I think we've really dove deep into these and the, and showed almost their mechanics. Obviously, not the end stuff, but. Exception. Malakari okay. Province no. Wait, is there any way to tell it's wasteland? Uh, layer troll, ambush. Province troll mountains. How, like, how do I know someone's wasteland? Because to me, this looked wasty. And obviously, I fought in wastelands twice. And I've already fought in these two locations. I don't know what waste. How do you find wastelands? Could try looking up quick, I guess. Warhammer Furry on my phone. How to find wastelands? The frigate wastelands of Province and Total War One of Three. That's located in North Chaos Wastes. I didn't put frigate with it. Wasteland biome. Okay, I put Warhammer 3, why has it got Terra Tech come up? Is that one for a quick wasteland locations? I don't know that is, that's not Warhammer. Okay, I'm bringing non Warhammer stuff up. Okay, we'll stop looking on that then. Um, is there any of these I can do what's quicker? So I've got to find another wasteland. Oh, is this climate? Is that anything? Climate. Fight convoy army. That's all the way over here. We might just try to do eight to just make it way over there. There's just one, isn't it? Yeah, we might just try and just make it way over there in these eight turns. Slayer. Did I? Reload is... yeah. I think first things first, very quickly. And even here we can actually... Mm, four, no. Alright! He's old legs! I don't declare war on us, please. Because we basically have 10 turns and to get the wastelands or that location to see if it still adds up after you've passed it. I want to use this travel thing ideally, but. What do I do? Show that the fallen building has been. Oh, okay. Another one, nice. 
Uh, what do you want now? Gaining entry into whatever castle you discover that is indeed in battle or harbors vampire Rukun, whatever. Stranghold and her mentor, C countless Gabriella. Uh, while both are incredibly strong in their own right, Yuken's lack of patrol has caught up with her, causing the two to be backed into a corner and outmatched by the adversary before them. Let me fight them, Ruka snarls, her fangs bared and swords unsheathed. I bested greater warriors in single combat. I will not found wanting for before she continued. Gabriella swiftly stab, steps forward, sorry, to present another option. Let them go, for Ukan was turned against her will by a vampire countess. Gabriella continues, explaining that she was fulfilling a promise to train the young vampires uh, to do no harm. The story seems genuine, but can such creatures of the night be trusted? The sisterhood who played the game to a political misdirection. No, it's clear what must be done. Recruiter. Oh, go cool. unlock someone. Excuse her. Oh, measures. No quarters. For 15 turns. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm going to recruit her. Let's see what this is. Ulrika Magdeva. Uh, sure, so fallen building has been constructed. Uh, what building? Rukumada will become available should this path be followed. What building? Shooting gallery. I oh, I have it. Me. Okay. Bait the Bloodborne and Masters of 15,000. Oh, so that's how you get uh, together. Cool. Were they part of his, um... Engineer. Right. His quest quests. Talent, I just run them on. 12 rank 8. I just saw weapons, okay. It's not to do with these two, they didn't have quested though. Oh, there she is. That's cool. Oh, I remember she wasn't... Did she become like a free lord or something? Or hero or something at some point? Cool. What are you trying to get? <laughs> Fist, warm, wanderers, retained uh, eight units of the fallen type. Well, that gonna happen for a while. With glory, glory, Iraq and Gabriel, oh no. Friends of rumors, powers, they cannot be allowed. Uh, that under an accord, Rukka will not return to Nascar Castle, but will instead continue her training in our services. While many are unhappy with this decision, perhaps she will find redemption through fighting our enemies or peace and noble death. Has been recruited. Ulrika Magdeva. Yeah. You can join this, can't you? My curse is strength. I think she can. Because again, we're not doing it properly right now. So I'll just delete someone and I'll have a join. I probably would make another lord and have them with that. But I kind of want her in this group. Was uh, a miner? Because you were pretty weak. Just tinkling with the setup. Prey on predators. Hmm. It's a range. Camaraderie shall get us there. Cool. Okay. I and we fly. Spirit of Grumny. Up. 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 up at them. Okay. So we want to be making our way here to test this little theory as we see what happens when we hit the top of this. And then we're done. Uh. I don't know what a wasteland climate is or how to find that out. So we want to fight one of these. Ployerant will give us that. If that highlights when we do one of these battles, it says just fight, so I don't even have to win. That will obviously prove you can do these after the main thing. If not, if you have to wait or not. That helps you travel by doing that? I don't know. I've got literally fight. Time for a wonder. No, obviously this is my main campaign. I was playing properly. I wouldn't be just rushing and skipping stuff like this. But like I said, if I enjoy this enough, maybe I'll do a campaign with this guy. Now what? Emigrations come our borders demanding shelter from larger threats. Do we let them cross into our territory, turn them away? Do nothing be gone. Control, grog, yeah, whatever, screw it. So research. Uh, anything? 
anything for them. The machineries. I'm looking for the copter specifically. Plus, I'm looking at the pictures wrong. I don't see them. Crew cars. Experience. I think we got a good one. Are you copters in that? Like all, all the machinery but the copters. Oh, there's more up here. There they are. So you need this to 500, but nowhere near. So it ain't gonna happen this time, but hey. Maybe add roots for luck. Greatest inventor. Keep that powder dry. Okay. So how close are we getting to this? That spot. And we are here. Yeah. Well, four or five turns should be able to make it. Don't care. Well, no aggression better if so you don't tap me. Fallen racers. Vampire call. Sure, we're going the right direction. So that's part there. We are here. So it's that big. We might be up two. Just gotta run into some of the fight from it. Oh, we get a lot of these now, aren't we? <coughs> Rumors spread of reckless fool who's loudly besmishing the quality of dwarf engineering and mucking fields of your past. Over the wretch seems to find lives lots. Music, we had this before, didn't we? Basically, yeah, we had this. I just put it to the book. I guess you have to go to war at some point. I don't really want to go to war unless he's the one I'm after. So I guess. He comes back until you go to war with him. It's book for now. Guess here wanna go? Okay, are we close enough to physically see who we're after now? Convoy army. Oh, is it a convoy army? The dragons making them convoy stuff. Or not? It's probably one of these. Like, how does it use a convoy army? Cast dwarf. Oh, wasn't one of them to be fighting more cast dwarfs as well? So Fight a convoy army, wasteland, dwarf. So if that moves up to two, is it you I'm aiming at, or is it you? I think it's gonna be the chaos guy. What makes him a convoy army, though? I'm a great big convoy. What's this for now? Oh. Bump. Oh no, cancel. Cancel, cancel, cancel. That, that did a big, big one. Gives us more, faster. And he's got full 20, they should all be healthy now. It's not a full army, so it's just a bit of resolve and see if it goes up. Hopefully, that's the correct thing. And we should be almost there with the. Five, okay, not bad. 
Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, it's this guy. Let me just double check it. And if it is, that will give me this. And it means you don't have to go. It means you can complete these later on, if this is right. Keep going to this, it's gotta be. Oh, I misclicked! I misclicked. Engineer! Right! Stay there, please. Close, that's fine. It'll just do what we needed it to do, isn't it? So, oh, does he on here by any chance? Light forest, okay. That should be successful. I think it does. Okay, it's ticked it. Oh, no, it hasn't. Wait a minute. Yep. So, yeah, yeah so I even though you passed this, you could actually earn the rest later on. That's cool. That's cool. I could keep going for that one to find more thingies. Yeah, we'll go way over here. Yeah. We'll need a full arm at this point. That's cool. So, just gotta wait four turns and we are done. I wouldn't mind uh, taking a peek at her in a battle quick. Small group again. Oh, I should probably just wait for the four first, shouldn't I? He has to be safe. Did you see that, lads? Best best up here. She's probably recuperating on. You grudges. You grudges. They're losing it now. So what they're losing, I guess, these guys. Good when it's someone else uh, they don't really have any uh, range, do they? Okay. Missile units. There's a melee descent. Go with some of them. A little bit of luck, uh, a whole lot of black good bunch of the thingies. Okay, he's gonna take two turns. That's, that's it's fine. always good when it's someone else exploding. Well, like three turns, we've got to wait to find the last thing out. See how it affects the thingy. Hey! What was that? Someone had better investigate. The fudge? What's this? I, the Gruner, win the following battle with Malkin's army. Treasure 5,000 in recruitment. What? So there's a flare fired into the sky from unknown source and distance after the air is rotated from was or whatever that word is was discovered that the flare was rumorly but effective device built by a young dwarf engineer 
unexpectedly a member of the Lost Wolf re Regiment, thought to have been wiped out many weeks prior. While being held captive with his forces by the Dark Elves, the Tinkerer had managed to cobble together a makeshift distress flare, scrap of metal, inevitable ore. Such ingenuity certainly deserves rescue, but also from that, there are innocent dwarf, there are innocent dwarf and mining lives at stake. All who toll on the Okay. I guess that could be the battle. I'm not saying we're gonna win it, but we can take a look. Okay, I'm not really bothered. There you go, happy population. Get rid of the thingy. <laughs> Teleport to that. Me. Oh, not me. Innovator. Do what's the rebellion? Because last thing you want them to wipe me out in the last couple of turns when I just want to test this, isn't it? Oh, a hero here. Oh, so how does this work? So you build an armor and you get towards him. Master Tinkerer, bill required. Okay. This time. Physical. You know, that's probably the better one. So it's probably going to be you. Circle down. Do research right on how we got. World. Ah, get you. Time for a reckoning. I answer to clan and hole. On your skills, Darwin. You can join him. Shoulder right, up, helps with the. We move. She won't. In. Muster arms. My axe thirsts for war. And he's okay. Uh, our globe has been used, so I don't have to use these, that's fine. You are the armoured. Decent melee. Ah. He's declaring war or something? Oh, thank you. Demands. Eh, screw it. I don't want to play war right now, so fine. I'll give you that. Again, I don't want the last two turns and see this battle, so. Hit rebel. No, need my warp token smash. Train. Six units. No. Never Guess I should give you the global ones. Slayer, basically. Slayer, Slayer. Gotta go away. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I should. Then should be able to fight them. Just all of it. <laughs> okay. Greatest inventor. Okay, so campaign movement that'd be good if I was doing it properly. Spiritual would be good. I 
guess I can pay. Oh, okay. Why has it got like a belt thing on it though? What's this one? Oh, I got you. That's why. <laughs> Should probably be a better one more than overall. I've got a great idea for no, no, Rogers. So, that quest it gave me before. How are you guys looking now? You're almost healthy. So, you gotta get the two more up. Now, with two turns off, I might be able to add the units from that. So you should be able to teleport to it. And if I can, I could just delete them and then we can have a look at the vampire quick and see what this battle is. Again, the goal would be nice to win it, but it's not the overall aim. Be a good giant and help it. The axe is now, okay, cool. Past horse, no renown. You want level or something? You did, okay. Explosives expert. Well, that'll uh, come in handy. Save quick. I should probably actually check them, sure now, because I don't get rebelled on. Nine versus. No, you failed, failed. For the wisdom of Valaya. Now, are we still building? Time for a reckoning. Can I get another? I guess. Um. Uh, next turn, hopefully, they can take them. Okay, so this should give us this turn, then they can do all that, and I can see that battle, and then we end the episode. Okay, complete. Here we go. And it was maxed out before, so it got reset now. How's this? Yeah, anyway, that's fine. Oh, they're sieging them. Hopefully they be done first. It's under siege, it's fine. So... Oh yeah, so, so it does. So it keeps them there. Look, growth, control, keep. And that's the thing we're in. So does that mean we can now... Club door. I was the only way to access them. Can I just build them anywhere? Uh, I'll start to test with it. Can you guys win this quick? Oh, it cancelled them. Um. The past is the past. I'll try not to kill you. Emphasis on trial. Okay, what units was it? That would help, but I never knew that. Oh, it is the Gyrocopters and the Flame Cannons. I'm on it! Oh boy. Cold. This is now. Only the toughest down. I don't understand how that works, I don't see Gyrocopters, do you? Choose. How does this work then? I'm in that stage. 
Temple of Grudge Settler Units. So they have a Grudge Settlers Mercenary. Mer grudge Mercenaries. Where's the mercenaries from? Settlers, recruit units, edge units. Do I. Why? Like, we create a lord or something? Is it in this? Hero, recruit lord, building. So, where's these mercenaries? Do I need a certain mercenary building? I don't understand. Because by my thinking, I should be able to access these now, right? Like these I won't want to get 75, that's fine. But I can't recruit these anywhere, why? We're officially in that time period, the Nolans. The Nolans, because this is Gorm, Prom, and Scruff. It's a tier by the end of the age of reckoning to add this unit to your grudge settler unit panel. Grudge settler unit. I don't know what that is. Grudge settler unit panel. What is it? Or do I have to, once I've got it in this stage, got to get it all the way back there again to get one? I don't understand how this works. Why can't I recruit these somewhere now? Like, there's nothing needs to confirm. Clean each of the age reckoning that set whatever adds these special messages to the grudge settler unit panel for instant recruit. But it's not. Not giving me his recruitment. Unless I have to be inside a place and I don't have anyone there. Okay, let me test. Demon Slayer. Demon okay. Slayer. Dishonored. There they are. So we only have that when we're in the thingy. Grudge Settlers. Okay, that's how you access them. Does that mean you can't do it? Oh, you've got it there. In foreign territory. Got you. So he can do it, he just can't do it there. Okay. And it looks like they are only one. So it's like I've only got one? Is that because I already have these? How many can you do, mate? You only do one or two. Oh! So every time there's 15, it gives me one I can grab instantly. Only. That's a lot, 50 for one, isn't it? Seriously? Or is it every turn it's going to add to it now for 15 turns? Maybe every turn, if, it, if it's for 15 turns, then it adds one every turn up to the max of two, so you just keep buying them, then that's not as bad. If it's one for 15 turns, that's not really worth it. So you're trying to build an army out. Okay, guys, can you win this by any chance or not? My axe thirsts for war. Yeah, start with them. Boom. Check like a doom. Well done. Ready. Hopefully they will keep recruiting now. <laughs> Next turn. Okay. So if I'm right then 
over here. No, can't do over here. This will go by two. Let's go. I what? Um. Greatest inventor. I'm just gonna. There's one more turn. Then we'll try to battle and win the episode. I just want to see if it goes up. If it's one for every 15 turns, that's that's bad. If it's one every 15, you know, every two for 15 turns, that's better. Let's see who's the fool. I don't know. Okay. Yay, whatever that is. Okay. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Okay. Um. Engineer! Where you come from? This stuff's coming up to my chest. Are you the guy who's gonna try and rescue? Okay, I'll look at that in a minute. Like, what? <laughs> okay, that seems stupid. Only one every 15 turns. That seems stupid, that does. Garagrim Iron Fist. Explosives expert. Yeah, where the hell did you come from? Garagrim! Get to work! No complaining! Okay, what do we look at? The fan lays dwarfs. Why did he come? The war reward. Oh, that's why. Retain a total of eight units following these. Oh, I must have accidentally hit them. Didn't even realise it. And it gave me him, yeah, okay, neat. Okay, so where's this quest we need? Um Is this the one? Treasury here recruitment teleport. Alright. Okay, let me save here quick. So we want to get you back into our territory, ideally. It's me, it's me, ma'am, you. Okay, stance. Oh, this is now. Oh, I've got a few turns, boy. You know, so I'm going to recruit that dude before we did the fight. Uh, can we just do the fight then? I know we're going to lose, but. One in it. So, what is this new mission you forged? A random mission they're giving me? The Agrundi. None of this has got the Agrundi in, is it? I want these to win the Agrundi or something. Fight against vampires. Win the Agrundi. And then armies. Nope. Fight against five. Oh, I've got a wasteland one too. Nice. Didn't realise it. Repairs. Oh, it was repair. That's cool. Okay. So we're going to take a little peeky boo at this, and we may attempt it, we may not, but obviously, if I suit it properly, I would make sure I get another unit. Expected. Does that mean on my side? We are about three hours, basically, basically thirty. So this will be a long episode. I'm tired. Oh god. Oh boy. We can at least have a peeky boo at this, nothing else. But yeah, I would go in this normally if this was a proper campaign without full 20. <laughs> uh, 
And I probably would have gained that extra cop to gone back to my territory. I wouldn't be that far out of my territory to begin with. This was the proper campaign I was doing. Because I didn't have a bunch of heroes in it. So they're not very well balanced. Oh, I guess that's five shooters and five fingers. It was a canny trick our brother used in bringing us here. I'd expect nothing less of an engineer. Safety's off, friends. Let's free our king with our own gear, shall we? I bet there's all kinds of poor stats trapped in those mines. Mm -hmm. Our engineer friend can free him if we provide some good old black powder mm -hmm. distraction. <laughs> those dark elves and wazics, I'm gonna know <laughs> what's hit him. Whatever my black heart throws at us, we'll take that the eggs and send them back in my ten wagon. That time. I haven't had that time for years. That's Wazix. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take a peeky boo at her quick. I don't know if we ever have seen her on my channel before. Pretty cool though. Okay, so you a hybrid? Yes, you are. So you're missile specialists. I'm gonna put you with all the missiles. Good one. You're melee. You're melee. Oh, you don't do vanguard. I have now. <laughs> you guys got vanguard in? Oh, only you can because you got the thing. Okay. Then. That's why they bomb us. Let the vengeance begin. That'd be fine. Time to free captures by keeping the Dreadnought's army busy. No, oh, so it's like objective to one defeat the Dark Elves and rescue the captives. Why to just fly these in from the. Damage. Feel the cold hands of death. Okay, so you guys focus on the same people all the time. But you guys are gonna break off. Everybody fighting? Okay, no, you're not. Why are you not fighting? Where are you specifically right now? You're here. You should be fighting that. You're here. You should be fighting that. And you're here. God, where are you going? Help with them. Oh, that rally. That's the wrong thing, wasn't it? Oopsie. Okay. 
Engineers emerge from the mine where the other captors are. Oh, those helicopters with him, he must be busy during his capture. Can I control them? No. I no doubt wondering what's taking so long to drive them off. How are you guys doing down here? Did she die? I think she did, didn't she? Again, this is just to end the episode with, so. But the bombs are quite good. I feel like you get quite used to using them and. God. Thing. I 
cold. See it. Like it should have been here by now, shouldn't it? He's in trouble, whatever he is. Like that should have came with reinforcements, I hit it and I don't see it nowhere. Show up though. That is going back. No. I thought that would show up and help with the dragon. I like, got a big bomb thing on it. Big boys back. Come on guys, we actually can pull this off. End the episode with it. He showed it would have helped big time. Because he did some kind of magic thing to stop my magic. Cancel them. But yeah, having an extra bomber before we did this probably would have helped big time. Don't know how well it devastated them. The good for taking the back lines, especially the archers. Dragons that should almost go to victory. I mean, here's where the drop dead though. Close fight, that's for sure. Right, folks, the guys coming towards you. It's gonna be close. I think we might just lose it. I feel that thing coming that really screwed it up. I don't why it show up. What's that? 
have been defeated and the troops within fear the captors are free to return home and master engineer wishes to pledge his up nice we, we actually did it huh didn't think we would hey yeah now well, it's just a few minutes Drive them off. yay so that went free nice see what that gives us quick and then we can end this episode that's a pretty good cool way to end though that victory because I honestly I didn't think we would pull it off with not having the extra guy and especially when that didn't work our big uh, blumpy thing for some reason unless he did something that stops summons or whatever I don't know why that didn't come in if you know please put in the comments how many did he have oh, 11 8 Whew. that's like 9 almost 20,000 Oh, we were in Masters. Okay, we're at 6, 7. So, yeah, we are what? 12, 13, maybe 14? 63 remaining. <laughs> that was a cool battle, though. And it just showed that these bombers, if I did play these properly, I would definitely have a bunch of these to take out the lines. I just have to get better with keeping these alive while I'm doing this. You know, when I went in individually at the start, then I went with twos, I probably would put a slow motion and. You know, or have them in formation and tch, 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 or something. That's cool. Hi, lad. What can I do? Okay, check that right on. I have a cat good. So, where's he? Is he on his own or doing my group now? He's been wounded and must. Oh, of course, he's the main hero. Wounded. So much, 500. Okay, can have a pleasure of two. So. Is he just in the thing now? Oh, look, he must be up here. Oh, is that him? What was his name? Oh, did I do it? Oh, was this because of what happened? Oh, because the Lord guy died. So it says the Lord's not one of them, okay. Uh, you want you? Because the Lord died, obviously he's wounded to be back soon. But did, um... Where are you guys now? You stood in the same spot we left you. Yeah. We sharpen our own axes here. Can I camp in a minute? Hyperthermia would be a poor death. Okay, so where's this hero again? Was it you to which one did you just join? Or can I just call him now when I want? For the wisdom of the layer. Now that's our hero. To war. I'm maxed out. So where's the hero I got? The grudges. Garen Anvis, legendary hero. So where are you? Oh, God, there he is. Oh, cool. And he killed a bunch of... Wow, that's cool. Ten of them. Does that, does that do anything to this do good at all? No, he's none of these. That's cool. Wait a minute. You might do it, aren't you? Hey, up. What's this mean? Planish. Why can't I click you? Leave it to me. Does he just not Disarmed. have any thingies a part of him? 
Okay, you can do that with them. So apparently I can use him. He just... Oh! I get him for 14 turns. Oh, okay. So by doing that, you get this guy, but only by 14 turns. Did that what the quest said? What's the quest? Um, that was the quest. It's that one, wasn't it? Okay, it doesn't tell you you get it for 14 turns only. That's a little bit. I feel that should be next to you in 14 turns. Unless there's somewhere I'm missing, I think you should, I don't know if you, but, ugh, words. Unless there's somewhere I'm missing, I think, unless you disagree, but I believe that that should have a 14 next to it. Because if he only lasts for 14 turns, why not tell me? Because then I could hold it off and then used him for a big battle thing now. Anyway, with that being said though, we will save and end here. Let me save quick. I hope you enjoyed that and we've had a good look at them. Hopefully we just have the last person to do now, what's Elspen, next time. So please like and subscribe. I've been Avatopia, you've been awesome. Thanks for watching, have a great one day, and see you next time, everyone. Boy. All right, people. I just said like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and then I just realized, after I turned the game off and actually transferring it to a uh, Super Nativity's computer so I can edit the thing, that I, di I didn't do the other campaign quick. So and we're just going to have a very quick look, so it's going to take up like a minute or two. Also, as you know, we did the Realm of Chaos, that's why we worked out all the mechanics. So let's just back up quick. Oh, there's the dragon. And we go campaign new, and we're going to look at Mortal and Bring see where it is. So he is a dwarf, correct? Dwarfy, dwarfy, dwarfies. Where's the dwarf dwarfs? Oh god, I can't find the dwarfs. And see, get up. Oh, god, it's all underneath them. Okay, it's not you. Mm, can I look at you? Is it you? No, it's not you. It's this, it's this guy, isn't it? Maxima? Yeah, there it is, Malachi. There we go. So, he, in this we'll start with Doomseekers, Miners, Mind Blasting, Thunderers, uh, one Gyrocopter, and Cannons. I think I think it's the same, in it? Obviously we'll go back and start the episode over three plus hours ago. And of course the map. Oh, way over here. Way, way over here. So if we just come out quickly and go campaign, new realm of chaos, the Wuffies. Yeah, I'll say the same with you. So down here, so where's that on the map? Oh, there's the circle thing. So you got a circle, big, big. Okay, so we'll come out, campaign, new, mortals, dwarves, you, boom. Boom, boom. The greatest dwarf engineer that ever lived. Not so much bigger, it's harder to tell. I actually don't know where the, the, the equivalent he is in the smaller map. Because I was thinking the thing would be this, but this is too big now. So yeah, we will very quickly start campaign, see what the opening is, see what he starts with, and then we will end this. Okay, and then like I said, next episode, again I'm probably butchered his name, Elizabeth, hopefully next episode we'll take a look at him, unless Age of Wonders pops up then I might just delay that, or if I just don't get time to do it by the next week, we may let this, uh, a couple of the Spellforce Conquests go up, we'll see, I'll try to do it for next week, but like I said with the Investors week, this week, that's two weeks of it, and with just everything with the channel and stuff in real life, it's just got, ugh. It's hard to get all this stuff done right now. <laughs> and like I said, I'm tired. It's 6.59 a.m. actually, about to hit 7. And I'm like, oh, great, we finished this episode. I was like, oh no, I forgot the immortal part. Luckily, we weren't planning to play that properly. <laughs> if this loading bar will go across, we can see this opening quick. And I don't think I'll even do the opening battle. We'll just see who he's supposed to face. And we'll just call it quits there. Come on, loading screen. Get your butt over there. Come on, come on. A little bit there, a little bit. Come on. Come on. Don't make me slap you. Now it's a black and white one. When you go, creature.
And you really beat the snot out of him. And then if you played certain music for him, because it was like this MP3 thing for him, he got upset. If it, was, it was a song that you beat him with. But at the same time, every time I played Michael Jackson beat it, he would then do the moonwalk and everything. He loved that song. And then he used to call, he was called Chronic, <laughs> my creature was. I mean, the black and white, black and white, the old game. That was awesome. I really wish Lion, it was Lion Head back then, they're not, they were Twitchy Cans now, would actually From make a black and white free. the earliest free. age of the Engineers Guild, the Darwin have scene? forged machines of war. Yeah, I think this is in it. Let's skip. One. Same cut scene as we saw earlier. Oh, looks like we're going against some kind of noogle. We've got some serious work to do. Okay, does it even take us around this time? Uh, both Slay, Engineer, who embarks on the yeah, space levels before. Uh, more crew. Summon the spirits, so basically, time to four, do the first fight and summon the spirit while you're fighting. Uh, defeat the army, belonging to Magat. Okay. So, do we have two places like last time? Uh, we have Krang. We do not. So, in the Immortals, you start with one place, not two. So in the, in the regular version, you start with a full province, because there's only two for that one. Here, you have to fight over the Troll King and Sphingy, so that's quite simple. In a way, Immortals is a bit easier to, to start with then, because it's like, I'll kill him, go for this, go for this as many priorities before you even start looking at your grudges, isn't it? And I'm assuming the grudges will be different. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, some other dwarves from someone there. I was going to say, we don't own two. Oh, we have ten grudges in the mortals. Holy fudge. We only had five before. So you have a lot more grudges in the mortals. Makes sense there's more people to fight, I guess. As you can see here, a lot more things to do. Legendary Lords is the same. This I'm not as impressed with, though. Like, once you get this thing, you get only one per 15 turn. That seems stupid, but whatever. Okay. Malachi, oh, and he gets to start off with the two heroes. Brilliant. So that's good. And you get to face Nuggles and two. What are they? Let's very quickly attack to see what they are. Okay. Oh, there's a bit of a size difference, isn't it, with this one? Big sumo giant with a little dwarf dwarf. And it's a size of victory, too, so. So, yeah, it's about good to swallow you whole. So yeah, with that being said, then we will... Where is it? Scout? I don't give out of this without doing... I just don't screw it over. Oh, he fell over his shot. I'd like to shot me but horse. Nice. Boom. There we go. So if you want to zoom out here before we end... Let's put us around here. Oh god, all these grudges, I guess. Retake, retake, retake. There's your... On the way paths. So yeah, it looks like it'd be a completely different game where he is in the mortals once you've done the realm one. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and for my second time, like and subscribe and that good stuff, and see you next time. I've been having to hope you've been awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a great wonderful day. Bye, everybody!